Hey guys, welcome back to another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 11th of April 2022. It was Mount Farm Monday. Mount Get. Which one? How many? You're going to have to watch to find out. If you'd like to catch us live and be there to celebrate those moments, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. If you tack on a forward slash schedule, you'll get to see a uh, time zone that I like when I go live, what time, in converted to your time zone automatically. Um, and if you scroll down to the description box, you'll find all my socials, Instagram in particular, I'm trying to build that following. Ah, if you can toss me a follow, um, if you're feeling generous enough, it would be very much appreciated. But for now, I hope that you enjoy the VOD and hopefully I will see you live in chat next stream. See you soon. Good afternoon. Everything is going wrong today. Um, I hope that you're all doing well. Uh, just Hello! To... Hello. <laughs> um, let me attempt to do the thing with the stuff. Just entertain yourselves. No. <laughs> um, how is everybody? Um, I'm going to warn you that one of the things that has been going wrong since 6am this morning, there is a car within 20 or 30 metres of the building. Dupe with the resub! 15 months! Oh my god. Thank you so much for your support and generosity. Stay a while and listen. Sorry, I had to proofread my captions on Instagram because I haven't done that yet because everything's going kisplat. Um, so there is a car very close to the building that has been car alarm malfunctioning. Um, and it's been going off four to five times an hour, minimum, since 6 a.m. Um, so, and the, the council won't do anything about it. And the police have said they can't do anything about it because it's not a stolen vehicle. Um, so if you hear that in the back, I'm probably not going to hear it so much because I've got the, the headset on at the moment, but you probably will because I have a very good microphone. Um, so I, I apologize in advance. There is literally nothing I can do about it. We've done everything we can. The car's windshield is covered in notes. Um, there was, uh, when I got back from my run, there were a couple of people standing there who were like bumping the car to trigger the car alarm. Cause it's literally like it's touch, like, yep. Yeah. So they bump it to get it to trigger. And then they're watching all the balconies of the buildings nearby trying to see who comes out with their beeper to so they can yell at them and fit like and, and figure out which apartment it is so that they can tell the building management to tell them to fix their shit um but it didn't work because by that point they must have realized that the beeper for their car alarm worked from wherever their home office was um and we know that someone's turning it off because at 6 a.m it was running for about 10 minutes Whereas now, when it goes off, it runs for about 10, 15, 20 seconds. So we know they know it's happening. They're just being dickheads about it. If your car, if you cannot stop your car alarm from going off, be a conscientious societal person and unplug the goddamn fucking battery until you can get it fixed. Mother of God, I am so thankful I don't have a child or like a baby or something because goddamn, goddamn. Hi, I'm having a really good day. How are you? <laughs> ah! Um, it's too hot in here. I need to turn this. Doors so I don't cost us three million dollars on the power bill. On. Thank you. Good. What are my quests today? Archers and rogues. Why is it place three archers? Place four rogues. It's, um, that's fun. Look, we have an archer here. Let's pop that down. But yeah, I'm, uh, oh, I just want to punch people. I just want to punch people. That's fine. We're not going to solve things with violence because that's not how we do things. Uh, I've got too many things open. Close that. I forgot to close my tweet deck, and so I've got all these notifications, and I'm like, oh, oh. 
let's close that. Uh, I can close that. I, ooh, actually, I need to, um, and, good. Uh, so, that makeup today. Actually, maybe someone, so maybe someone will actually guess it today. Um, I have, there is a cream tone. It's not just pink and gold. There is like a cream eyeshadow in the, the crease there. It's kind of, it's only like a shade and a half darker than my skin tone. I can see it, but the camera is not picking it up. It's, it's too similar for the camera to pick it up properly. So there is a creamy brownie sort of shade there. Then there is gold and there is like a pinky, purpley pinky kind of duva also. I didn't make the sound. Good. I was wondering if it was going to make the dung sound, but it didn't. And that's good. That's good. Oh, now I have a headache. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, I own it. Baby tune da 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 baby tune na 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 I own it. It does not fly. It's a ground mount. Ibuprofen. Yas. We love tiny baby things that don't taste like art oh, that take away my pain. We love those. Um, good. Best of luck to all. Hopefully I actually give away a game today. <laughs> I can't believe no one guessed it yesterday. I mean, I mean, it's not the first time. It's not the first time it's happened. It's okay, I'm not offended, but it is a thing. Um, where are we going? Right, uh... That's really gonna be the easiest way to do it. Alright, let's scroll up to the top of the chat and say hello to everyone who has said hello to me because that is how we are polite and respectful and stuff. There's, um, flavoring syrup in here. Um, it was, pretty it was. Yeah, we had a bit of an oopsie at the start of stream. So, Shiba grabbed for The stream was live, though, so it's not like it was a... The stream was live, it just died. Um, well done, Shiba, on first dupe with second K on third. Um, holy with Thirsty. Welcome to stream. It, it done balked. Done balked. Um, it's fine now. It's nice soon now. Good. Wonderful. Hello, Chaos. Well done. Icy with last. Uh, frist. There is no frist. How did I manage to get that? Because Yuri wasn't here yet. Hello, Fade. Good time zone to you, too. Welcome on in. Hello, channel. With the resub. Hang on. Give me a second. This one. Hi, the Sunwell. Thank you for your resub with Prime Gaming. Welcome back. Eight months. My God. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Uh, got making stream. You know you want it. Click your embers, the purple campfire underneath chat to contribute to the latest community. Oh, yep. That starts today. You've got this week to, to max it out at 100%. Um, but it's a gold making stream. So basically oh, what we did yesterday. <clears throat> basically what we did yesterday. But we're gonna do, we're not gonna pick dungeons based on what fear needs completion. On uh, We're gonna pick dungeons based on like actual gold making stuff. So that's a thing. Um, hello nurse, welcome in. Hello Ellie. Um, I believe we've started the battle now. Sure, I placed a unit, didn't I? I did. Okay, good. So the battle is up now. Fantastic. Um. Uh. Is it higher? Better. Nice. I hope you're enjoying it. Hello, Lucky. Games are meant to look like. Yay, particles. It is absolutely a bit different. So sharper it looked. And the shadows. Yeah. Yep. And the water. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The modern era, indeed. Ouroboros is a bit grey. Ouroboros, yeah. Oh, no, no water in Ouroboros. I don't know how flat I was to see. Wow, on high settings, yeah. I, I still don't play on high settings. Um, I think, 
I think my PC is, it's, it's capable of it, but, um, it's, oh, for God's sake, um, I'll get better stream quality if I bump the, the WoW stuff down, which, you know what, like, when you're, when you're content creating, <laughs> you have slightly, slightly different priorities. Um. Thank you so- here, let me replay that one as well. Goodness gracious. Axiom, thank you so much for the cheer! Much appreciate the biddies. Thank you! Thank you so much. Hello, Rel. I bet you we'll be live streaming the next expansion thingy on April 20th. It's at 3 a.m. No! It's at 3 a.m. No! <laughs> I will absolutely be watching it. I will absolutely be watching it live, um, but I will likely be with no makeup, hair a mess, and wrapped in my doona in bed while it plays on my on my screens. Um, I will not be streaming it. Absolutely not. No. Three a.m. No. <laughs> um, but there you go. There's a. Uh, I, I hope that didn't come across as rude. It was more meant to be like, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, but I will absolutely be watching it. So um, for those of you who are not going to be watching it as it's live, I do definitely recommend watching the recording prior to coming to stream because once it has been announced, it is no longer counted as spoilers. And I have no doubt that the entire six hour stream, I will be repeating the same seven sentences about my thoughts on the, on the announcement. <laughs> so we will, there will not be any like, shutting down of that discussion it will absolutely be happening so if you haven't watched it by the time stream starts on that wednesday um i highly recommend going and watching it before you come and join us um <clears throat> i am so simple saying that you not dead like it used to take nice It'd be like 3 a.m for her yep it will be correct uh this struggles with arden wheel yeah although most of the arden wheel stuff the arden rave has been toned down they they fixed a few things there was an issue I i'm pretty sure it was an issue with a nvidia um nvidia uh driver or something it made things flicker and flash um but the, yeah that was a that was not a computer settings thing that was a that was a driver malfunction from what i remember that was a while ago that it was like the start of the expansion um Hello. Yes, way too early. Correct. I'm glad. I'm glad that you agree, Lucky. I'm glad you agree. Thank you again to Dupe for the resub at tier two at 15 months, my lord. Are you not entertained yet? It's <laughs> llamas, the bad kind of llamas. Drama llama. Uh, does the ambient noise cancelling on the mic? Yeah. Look, I don't think it's ambient though. That's the thing. It's heckin' loud. It's heckin' loud. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm a noise law after a certain time tonight. Not helping now, I know. Well, it would have come under the noise law at 6am this morning as well. Noises and stuff like that aren't supposed to kick off until, like, I think it's like 7 or something. But it, nothing, they can, they, nothing they can do about it. Unless it's a... Unless it's a stolen car, apparently, which is uh, ridiculous. But, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that if it does continue past, like... T I mean, it's still during work hours right now, so there there is always a chance that the person whose car it is works some kind of high-intensity job from home and literally can't go down to do something about it, which is still total and utter shit. Like, most jobs should give you five minutes to nick downstairs and fix something that's annoying the entire goddamn uh, neighborhood. But, um... Like, if, if it does get to, like, six or seven tonight and it's still going, I have no doubt that it'll go through the night. But the, the difference is, by the time it's going through the night and they're having to push the button every ten minutes, that's going to irritate them as well. Right now, they don't care. They can just push the button and it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't affect them at all. Um, they push it as soon as they notice and done. But if it's tonight and it keeps waking them up, then it absolutely will affect them. Or, if it doesn't wake them up, and it keeps going for 20, 30 minutes. Either we can call the cops and they'll actually do something about it, or the battery will die. And then I'll be a very happy fear. So. <laughs> I, 
I honestly, honestly, I really hope that their battery dies and they have to call, like, RACB or whatever. No, wait, it's RACQ up here, isn't it? Right, because the V is for Victoria. Good. <laughs> I don't have a car, okay. Um, and then I have to call RACQ and pay, like, several hundred dollars for battery replacement and we can all look out our windows and laugh at them. Stuck in the goddamn alleyway. Yep, would be nice. I'm not petty at all. Um, this is where you need a sledgehammer. It's not, it's not annoying enough to be worth like being fined or imprisoned or whatever for um, property damage. It's just, it's not worth it. It's never worth it. Um, what we do need to do is go get one of those, uh, you know, the markers that they use at like the used car lots and stuff to draw like the price on the windshield and stuff. We need to go get one of those and write, you're a dickhead all over the car and draw penises and all that kind of fun stuff because like, Yep. Just gonna... Oh, hello, Draz. Uh, if you're new in chat, hi. Yep. Hello. <laughs> Welcome in. Using absolute hell if it were happening near me. There's not, like, how do you raise hell? How? What can you possibly do that would not get you yourself in trouble for retaliation? There isn't anything. The police have been called and we've been told. There is nothing we can do. It's not a stolen car, or it hasn't been reported stolen, and it's not violating any noise ordinances or anything like that. There's nothing. We've called council and they've said there is nothing we can do. They've called a tow truck company and they wouldn't take it and hold it for money for them to pay to get it out. We'd have to pay the tow truck company, like front up, and I'm not paying several you hundred dollars just to, no, absolutely prepared. not. Poor Tomato, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. How was your stream? What is happening? What were you doing? What were you playing? Welcome on in to all the raiders. I'm Fia, if you haven't been here before. I play mostly World of Warcraft. Uh, and we have a car outside that has been... Our car alarm's going off. Like, every 10 minutes or so. So that's nice. I'm very frustrated by this. <laughs> but it's fine. Everything is fine. And I'm currently catching up on chat. Um, uh, I punched all the people. This police is Carol, I'm going off. I think there's a child and or pet in the boot. Yeah. Yeah, I've I've suggested that because there was a there were a couple of people down there who had like who who were the people who listed off everything that they'd done and I said, "Well, if you if you could manage to pop the boot, like if you if you find a way to pop the boot without damaging the car, uh, pop the boot, pop the bonnet, um, you can unplug the battery, like take the clip off the battery, and then it'll stop. Um, or you can call the police back and say that there's a nice funky smell coming from the, the car, can never be a really funky, terrible, terrible smell, uh, and then they'll have to come out because it could be a dead body. And one of them laughed when I said that. I'm like, more well, it's the truth. Like, <laughs> it's how it works. I oh, love the makeup. Thank you, Chaos. Much appreciated. You should go to do energy supply. Yes and no. Uh, should not be how we solve things. We do get to a point where we feel like it'll definitely help. Yeah, I feel like the 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 wanting to do the vi wanting to do violence, uh, wanting to punch people is more. You've just got this build up of frustration, and you need to get the energy out of your body, like somehow. And usually, it results in going forward. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I I could not damage anything through physical strength, because I'm not physically strong. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, I just, I'm just really frustrated. Really frustrated. <sighs> but it is what it is. Um... Lord Admiral's favor, friend. Mmm, using his nose and his rock and it is, agreed. Is he running like this today? Think about the makeup fair! Fair. Uh, Black Claw. Um, hold on, primal die horn, my guess for makeup. Also, howdy, hello, Thor. You are incorrect. That's okay. All those contributions, amazing. Flame Ward Hippogriff. Ooh, okay, I can do that. Or Hippogriff. Can't undo melee. Okay. It really does randomly cause struggles no matter what you've got. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's better. There's still something about the particle density with the fog. It causes it to dump frames occasionally. Ah, 
Ah, interesting. I haven't noticed. But it might be because I've been paying too much attention to chat. Um, rather than paying attention to the game. So that might be why I haven't noticed. Um, so is there a foot? Oh, that's you talking. Hello, Lander. How are you today? It's going after like 11, surely completing a village. I blame all hope so. I really, really hope so. Because I need sleep. I need sleep. I have a noise compliance so the noises that cause a disturbance during a certain time frame. Be yeah, it doesn't kick in until like much later tonight. Like after stream, much later. Um, but yeah, definitely, it's a it's a thing. Uh Uh, I don't know my friend because I know the laws are. I should be like a party, etc. But please physically show up and tell them to shut up. Yeah. Yeah. They'd have to, like, I know I've got a photo of them on the plate, so I can tell them. <laughs> um, I don't have to leave the house to tell them that. Uh, so I can head down there and uh, I can I can call them after whatever, and I'm sure I won't be the only one doing it. <laughs> I'm certain, I won't, not judging by the number of notes and stuff on the windscreen. Um... Uh, but yeah, so I can call them and say, hey, this is the number plate. This is what's going on. It's been happening since 6 a.m. this morning, but we were told during the day that nothing could be done. But now that it's after, I think it's like 10 p.m. or something like that. Um, can something be done now? <laughs> Even if you just pop the bonnet and unplug the battery, like that's all I'm asking. I, like that's, I just want to be able to sleep. Guys, it might be take a while to address it. Look, they might. They might. <laughs> Look, I grew up with RACB, you know, and then I didn't really know what it was in New South Wales because, like, RACN? No, I'm sure not because that sounds like stupid. Um, but I also didn't know anyone with a car where everyone took public transport and taxis everywhere. Um, n none of us had a car. We're all in bloody university and so and living in the city. So, um, yeah, and now I'm up here, it's RACQ, and I know that, but I don't pay attention to it. Because I don't have a car, so I don't really need to know. Uh, look, I'm fine, everything is fine. don't have a, uh, no water of embers today, unfortunately. Um, afternoon seeker, if the battery dies, organize communication to block the car so roadside services cannot reach it. Uh, look, that's, again, with the whole retaliation thing, not wanting to, like, I don't know at what point it becomes, like, harassment and stuff. Like, I want them to get in trouble, not me. Like, they're the ones being the numpties. It's not worth me getting in trouble over it. Um, Green cannot catch up with time zone change. That's okay. Mine didn't change. That's the only reason why I'm fine with it. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, today was a very unproductive day because I just, oh, no. Which is, which sucks. Because I've been really productive, like, almost all of last week. I smashed it and then this, now, you know, Monday, brand new week, fresh start. <clears throat> oh, well. Oh, well. Um, should I interview Dame Your channel points yet? I didn't have a car, is not going to say which stage she currently resides in. No, look. I don't have to deal with RACQ ever, and when I was younger, it was always RACV whenever we had a car problem. So, yeah. Which wasn't often, to be honest, but if we did. And all the ads and stuff when I actually watched television. Um, now I just watch Netflix. <laughs> but when I actually watched television, it was all RACV. It's been drilled into my head. Uh, not stolen yet. Um, thank you for the cast to command, Shiba. Much appreciated. Look, I finally got to the raid. I do take a little while to catch up sometimes, but I'm only seven minutes behind. It's fine. I'm catching. I'm catching. Um, hello, tomato. Welcome in. I think a baseball bat can't fix. <laughs> Look, I certainly feel that way, but it is not worth, unfortunately. Not worth. Not worth. Chances are, because there's apartment buildings everywhere, that it'd get caught on camera and I'd be completely screwed. Um... So, no, not worth. But I can certainly fantasize about it. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, hello, Josh. It's illegal to threaten physical damage to a car. Get a megaphone, yell out, you're going to take a sledgehammer to the car. You're not, obviously, but that would make them come down. Not necessarily, because they might just think they're not going to do it because then they're in trouble. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, 
They might be actually intelligent and just a dickhead. For the health of Azeroth. Thank you, champion. But yeah, like it's uh it's a thing. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Thank you for plugging the socials on my behalf. I got some new followers today. I got like five new followers on Instagram. I don't know what oh uh where's my where's my makeup powder one? Oh no, that's attached to something. Okay, uh, let's put that back. I don't want to bring that with me. Boop. I have 1% battery, go me. This shouldn't result in a doop So, I'm plugging it into a power brick, but the power brick's plugged into my computer. Um, yeah, 931, back up tonight, because I lost. After I posted my last step one promotional image, I like dropped seven followers. Um, <laughs> because apparently an image of me in essentially bike shorts is too scandalous. And they don't like it. Um, so they ditched me. A couple of them blocked me, which is nice. Um, but that's okay. They were all like acquaintances from like a decade ago, so I don't care. But the number going down sucks. Um, but yeah, back up to 931. We're at like 934 or 933 or something before the unfollowing. We're getting there. We're getting there. Six to nine to go. Threatens my people, Inquisitor. Remove nice. it. But not nice. We want to get to 1k. <laughs> nice, but also not nice. Uh, she was great playing WoW as we raided. Did some daily support quests. Awesome, Tomato. This sounds like a great fun time. I hope you got everything you needed from your world quests, and I hope that Raid dropped you something tasty. Well done, good job. Uh, sounds like when you have those dreams, you get into a fight and you're throwing- You're all the person that's doing nothing to them. Yeah, or like when you're trying to run away, but it feels like you're running through maple syrup or something. Yeah. And you just- it, like your body is so tired and you cannot drag it through the air. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I know that. I, I used to have those kind of dreams a lot, which was terrifying. Um, not so much anymore, which I guess means I'm in a better place, maybe? Unsure. Unsure. Is in Rotterdam, I could have looked up you were in the car and given him a stern phone call! <laughs> Unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. Nice mount. So fiery, it is a very cool mount. I like it a lot. Just having grapes and playing fun with his video. Update maintenance! Nice! Grapes are tasty. What? Do you like red grapes or like white slash green grapes? Jas and I had a discussion the other day. Why are they called white grapes? I'm like, because they make white wine. He's like, yeah, but the grapes are green. I'm like, yeah, but you're not going to call it green wine. He's like, why not? I'm like, because the wine's not green. <laughs> it just... <laughs> but yeah, do you, do you like red grapes or white grapes better? Um, it's a bit of ibuprofen, um, because I have a headache that kicked in as I started stream, which is how it usually happens. Um, but hopefully it'll go away shortly, because that ibuprofen's actually really good. Um, how do we get the card in? <laughs> yes! Mood only mode. Ah, oh, thank you, Shiba! Thank you, Shiba. Oh, and that counted as a hydrate, I think. I've done the choose my mount. Look at all these emotes! I like those roses, they're pretty. And the diamond eyes, cute. Cute. Yay! I love I love when I'm like, spam all your favorite emotes or whatever, and then and people drop my emotes in chat. It makes my heart so happy. I imagine it must make you like super happy too, Shoes. Ooh, what just happened? Oh! We gone. We gone. Not stream though, just wow. Oh, I've been really surprising. Everything I want to see the opposite happen with that pick dropping. Right? That's right? Yeah, but no. <laughs> but no, there's an unfollowing run through maple strip once. It was delicious. How was your skin after that? Like. I'm, I'm not sure if you're actually being genuine or, or not, but that's fine. But like, how long did it take you to wash it all off? Like, was it gross? Did you use like a whole bottle of soap? This one's weak. Shouldn't be called white grapes. Which grapes do I like? Yes. Valid answer. 
valid answer. Those dreams where you're trying really hard to move. You're going so slow are weird. Been a few of the years, none for ages though. Yeah, right? Maybe it's because now we feel like that IRL because pandemic and shit. That, yeah. White isn't white either. I mean, it's closer to white than it is to green. Like all grapes as long as they're firm. Squishy grapes at you. Correct. But also like the teeny tiny ones that are super sour are also gross. Um, I like seedless grapes. I don't like having to spit seeds out. Uh, I could have called them light grapes and light wine. I'm going to start doing, going all diet crazy with our drinks at ship for sale now that, yeah. Yup. Oh dear. Uh, hello, Loz! Welcome in! It's joking, I'm being serious. <laughs> Don't be Canadian! <laughs> the Drunda DC death? Yeah, that's alright though. It happens. It happens. Great way to start a stream, but whatevs. This is interesting. This is a level 60 tune now, by the way. And this is still a difficult thing to kill. I am in damage spec though. Maybe I need to jump into tank spec. No, no, no. Why does it really shoot you forward when you double jump? It's a little bit silly. Just trying to get some solid ground. Um, big bag greens and scrapes got them yesterday. Yum. It's a terrible seeds are so bitter too. Yeah, when you're accidentally crunch into one, when you got like a bag of seedless grapes and one of them has a seed in it, and you like crunch into it, it's like, ugh. yeah, agreed. Well done. Agreed. So I've I've realized I've realized that all of the mounts that I'm farming that are night fay only, I can now do on this tune too. Uh, but I'm not gonna because I don't want to go through having to unlock year again <laughs> um although maybe i should just skip it maybe i should just like i don't like missing out on all the stuff that it grants you when you go through the unlocks i don't like like it's the fomo i don't want to miss out on that stuff but maybe i should just unlock or skip it all unlock or here and go kill the, the noodle excuse me um in a retailing game show. Well, I did it yesterday because I my title was specifically Burning Crusade Dungeons. Burning Crusade Lax, like Dungeon Lax. So I knew that seeing Burning Crusade would have had a ton of people coming in here saying, is it retail or is it blah, blah, blah. And I would have had to explain a million and one times, you can't do loot appraiser challenges in fucking classic. You can't do it. It doesn't function. Um, but people don't read shit, right? They just see Burning Crusade and they, they go for it. That's why I put retail in there. But our average viewership jumped massively. So I'm doing a test to see if it happens again today. <laughs> our average viewers last night were over 100. Over 100. We were sitting at 120 for like a really long time. So I wanted to see if it was maybe because I have the retail tag in there. So people know what they're gonna get. Or if it was just a result of, um, like, being on launch or whatever, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, I'm not too sure, let's see. Um, hello, drama. You have any interesting classic at all? <laughs> Long time watcher, first time caller. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Welcome to chat, I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, I have played classic once. The launch day of Burning Crusade, I did. Um. I massively prefer retail. Uh, the reasons for that are like the big things that I tend to do in game are like completionist stuff, collecting things, uh, all that kind of thing. And you can't really do that in retail because everything still kicks your ass <laughs> because it's all still like within level. You can't solo stuff. I mean, you, you, I guess you could probably go back and solo like Rage Fire Chasm, um, but that's kind of it. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely far more interested in retail compared to classic but it's not a it's not a like a never like i refuse to play it's not that kind of stuff like i'm 
uh, if, if the opportunity arose to, to do something fun with it, then sure, absolutely, I'd give it a go. Uh, but as it stands at the moment, I'm just having too much fun at retail to, to like go over there of my own accord, if that makes sense. But I have nothing against it at all. I'm super, super happy that it's available for those who are like really passionate about it. I'm really glad that it's an option. Really glad. Uh, Corthia skipped the fear on the loss of stuff. It's not worth the time. Look, last time I did it, it uh, oh, it's, hang on. I just pulled something and now it's stuck you underground. You are not ah, Edry, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a fantastic day. How was your stream? What did you get up to? Tell us all about it. Uh, while I'm out of combat, let me switch over here. Fade, Landar, and Zam! Congratulations on your bonus shit! Oh, I just shimmer my fingers crossed the alarm buggers off soon! Me too, Rel. Thank you so much for the well wishes, and we will see you soon. See you soon. Enjoy your evening. Is your talented in person? Oh, okay. Oh my god, that's too sweet of you. That's ridiculous. Me? Talented? Never. Sorry, I I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Uh, but a company has put me on a short list for sponsored streams. I can't tell you who or what or why. I can't. But it's like, if they're going to do that, it must be because I've got something, right? I, ha I have to have something they want. <laughs> I can't. I can't tell you. I'm expecting an email back from them with, like, details and deliverables this week. And then I have to send them a quote. I will be dictating my own prices. Oh, right, the world quest expired. Okay, that's fine. Um, oh, but a new one popped up. Let's go do that. Um, but yeah, so they're, they're sending me an email at some point this week with everything that they want from me. And then I have to send them back quotes for everything. Like, this is how much it'll cost you for me to do this and that and the other. And, uh, and then they'll probably come back and say, okay, well, we can't do that, but how about this? And then, you know, we haggle, we negotiate. Um, and then we settle on a price, which is um, only the third time ever this that I've had to actually see. I've had stand. Thin the enemy's ranks. when I've worked with Blizzard, when I've had sponsored streams with Blizzard, they've said we are willing to offer you X amount for a stream of X length. And it's my answer has been yes or no. Like that's that's what my yep. And then when I worked with Udi, the Udi, the second time. They said, this is what we want from you, and in return we will give you X amount of money. And then I had to say either yes or no. But, um... There have been... Only a couple now opportunities where I've actually had to set my own price. And goddamn, it's difficult. <gasps> my lord, I'm so thankful that I had those couple of opportunities up front, like off the bat. That where they set the price first because that really gave me like a, a launching pad for like this is this is what I have been paid in the past so this is like the minimum I'm going to accept and then since then I've grown and so I should be asking for more because I have more influence and I have blah 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 blah, blah. So, but it's oh god it's so hard trying to put a price on your work especially when it's such a passion thing as well like when like I love what I do I love content creating but I have to remember, like, I don't want to price too low just so I can get the job. Like, I need to pay my bills. You know, I need to pay my dentistry off. I need to put together some savings. I need to, so it, I, I deserve to be paid for my work, as all creators do, no matter what type of stuff that they're creating. So yeah, it's a, uh, whew, it's, it's a time. Could also be because of lack. It definitely could also be because of lack. That's why I've got it in there today, because I'm not doing lacks. I want to see what happens. Let's see what happens. But yeah, that's, um, it's fine. Oh, oh, speaking of lacks, um, I did say that I was going to try to figure out what we were going to do next Sunday in terms of our loot appraiser challenges, because I really liked that, like setting up a bunch of dungeons and going for it. And then the next lowest on my list was Leatherwearer's Trial of Valor. And I was like, so I ran through Trial of Valor on normal on my Druid, and then I ran through it on heroic. And the ensemble dropped from Helia, 
which bumped it up by like 20% completion. And so I rolled through all my leather workers, leather workers, leather wearers updating them, and it's now a dungeon at the bottom again. So it's Orcanite Crypts. <laughs> it's Orcanite Crypts. So what I'm thinking... If I... Nope, that's the wrong one. It's this one I wanted. I'm like, what am I looking at? This is wrong. So it's all can I crypts. So I'm thinking we rip through those four. And I'm thinking we do Black Morass and Old Hills Brad. As much as they're gonna hurt, am I gonna get like two runs of Old Hills Brad in? I reckon we do those six. So we've done we've done the the three purple ones and the three orc ones. So I reckon we do the four and the two. As our, as our next run. And it's going to be on Rogue for me this time, rather than Paladin. Um, there's Edgy's Raid. Consider spoiler what they're going to do next with Classic. Curious if you're going to dip your toes in again for a stream. That will depend on a lot of different variables. Um, honestly, at this point, I can't tell you whether I will or not. Um, if it's been announced... I'm not a Paladin! Uh... Correct. If it's been announced publicly by Blizzard in like an official post, it does not count as spoilers. That is no longer a spoiler, that is an announcement. Uh, I haven't read it, but you're more than welcome to discuss it and I will learn from you. And if I'm like, what? No, I'll go look it up. But yeah, if, it, if it's been data mined, then it's a leak. But if it's been officially released and spoken about by Blizzard, then no, it's not a, not a spoiler. No longer a spoiler. Um, especially considering that it's a rehash of old expansion, like classic, the, the, the nature of classic is a bit that way, you know? Um, but that's my feelings, not necessarily anybody else's. Um, hey Edu, welcome in! Playing Raft, it was fun and stressful. It's been suggested to me that I give Raft a try, but I watched the gameplay, um, I watched the gameplay trailer on Steam and that made me feel nauseous. I don't do well with first person games. Like if I'm zoomed right into the head and I have to look around and stuff, I get really motion sick really quickly. Um, it looked really fun, but I just, I don't think I'll be able to play it for more than half an hour without honestly becoming physically ill, which sucks because it looks like it's really cute. It's absolutely, it's exciting. Happy for you. Thank you, Edry. I, look, I'm... <sighs> I honestly don't know how to feel just yet. Um, it's ex it's big and it's exciting and it's scary. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I've had a very brief conversation and they like, cause they wanted to like get to know me and my content a little bit. They had a couple of questions for me about my experience with certain genres and game types and things like that. And so I, I answered those questions. They had a questions about you guys. I answered those. Um, like, n like demographics, but also like the feel and the vibe and what, what my kind of content is. Um, and they, judging by the end of the conversation, they, they liked the answers that I gave. So it's going to be a matter of, um, can I do, you know, can I commit to the deliverables? Um, and are they going to pay me what I want to be paid? Because I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do... 20 hours of sponsored streams for 10 bucks, you know what I mean? Like it's, <laughs> that's not how this goes. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. I'm, I'm excited. This could lead to some pretty big things. It's, it's pretty exciting. A um, but look, the water. Uh, I'm just, trying to breathe just waiting for the email to come in i need to see what they want from me because i might not be able to provide it i might not be willing to you know if they want me to stream seven days a week for eight hours a day i can't do that you know like it's if they want me you know if they want me to do a full seven day long stint of eight hours then i i can't i have to say no to that because i have you know, i mean i probably have leave enough to take from the day job but it's like that would Thank probably kill me <laughs> but um we'll we'll see so I hope you guys are excited. When I can tell you, I hope you guys will be as excited as I am. I really do. Because this isn't just about me. This is about our community and, and us and 
and every you know this this stream is as much yours as it is mine like you guys have and will continue to affect my content and and all that kind of stuff it wouldn't be a stream without you guys it'd be a enemy forces are on the video like, <laughs> you know what i mean it would not be what it is without you guys and so yeah it's um it's a big thing um hello keggy that's it close to a full-time streamer look hopefully not not kidding this particular one it's the kind of thing that could, could do it that's that's how big this is this is this is the kind of thing that could actually do it and it's that's why it's so fucking scary <laughs> One visit to sushi train for you to wear my mustache on stream, yes or no? How are you gonna remove your mustache for me to wear it, Keggy? We gotta we gotta talk about how do I accomplish these deliverables. You're glad doing something for money when you're just happy to do it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh <sighs> Don't forget, I didn't quite reach. Oh well. They're coming to me now. All the height, she's a hell yeah, when the hell yeah item dropped. I did not, I was very tired. Um, <laughs> I just kind of went, ah, cool, <laughs> and kept going. Um, I think it's been officially announced, surveys have been going out. I will find that, ah, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah, if it's just, if it's surveys that are going out, it's just them kind of getting ideas as well. Keep in mind that they have had survey they had the surveys in the past about how they should, how they, if, if the Burning Crusade servers were going to be a thing how would you like it to be managed and stuff like that. So I would assume that what they are planning for Classic is to progress eventually into Wrath of the Lich King. It's kind of like, you know, that's, that's kind of an assumption. Um, I also wouldn't be surprised if eventually or if currently, this is all just, of course, speculation on my part. I haven't read anything about it, so here goes. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they eventually toyed with the idea of diverging the timelines. Um, going in a different direction with Classic, but using Classic's framework rather than Modern WoW's framework. Like, so instead of having an, an expansion that builds on Shadowlands, having an expansion for Classic that instead of going into Wrath, builds on BC, but goes in a different direction or something. But they'd be really, really stupid not to do Wrath. Wrath was the big one. Wrath was the one that everyone has the heavy, not not just not just nostalgia because we played Wrath, but Wrath itself had the nostalgia of Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. That was what it was built upon. So they'd be really silly not to release Wrath um, eventually, whenever the time is right for them. But yeah, like, <laughs> but yeah, no, I've, I've not seen anything. Uh, zoom out with comma on the keyboard. With Ra- Hmm. Does it make the gameplay harder if you're not actually seeing like what you're doing? <clears throat> you go to third person. Forces some breathing room. Um, yeah, let me check how much more jump of legend to lava. <laughs> nice. Get what you want from us. Thank you, Apollo. Thank you. Congrats for at least getting offers. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a weird feeling. Like having someone drop into your inbox saying, hi, I'm such and such from company that you very well know. And I would like to talk to you about a sponsorship for game that you very well know. And I'm like, occasionally I've sort of had one, one particular one that dropped into my inbox. I actually went back to them and said, I just want to confirm that you actually have the right email address that you're sending this to because I don't, why? <laughs> why me? What have I done? Like, <laughs> but um, turned out they, no, turned out they were trying to go in a very different direction of where they were originally heading, um, which is why, because I was looking at it and I'm like, this is not at all, why, why they, what they do is entirely separate from what I do. Why, question mark. Um, but it turned out they were wanting to diversify. They were specifically looking for people who were very different from themselves. So that's like, that was understandable. Um, but yeah, it was kind of a funny feeling. 
to Mervy. Thank you, Chaos. My most extreme my dear. I mean... I can't hold it on properly, though. It also smells kind of funky. <laughs> That's the thumbnail for the VOD. Done. Um... <laughs> Wrath of my first full expansion versus my Rooster rating and ICC for sure, of course, absolutely. I didn't actually show you guys my tarot deck, did I? I was talking about it yesterday, but I didn't show you. It's really cute. They're all kind of, um... So you've got, like... That's the back of them, which is freaking beautiful it's not gold it's not metallic it's printed to look glittery if that makes sense um but that's the back of them and then the cards are done so it's like a black and gold version of the rider weight design on the middle but then it's got these are the keywords for it upright and then those are the keywords for it reversed so it, it's designed to like help you like learn about tarot and stuff like it's it's a learning deck which is really cool. Um, yes, anyway. Oof. Off we hop, on to the next one. We did not quite get to Exalted with Order of Embers today, but that's all right. It's one of their most popular expansions. It's where all the new players joining. Yeah, because they played Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. And they're like, oh yeah, find out what happened to Arthas after that, yeah. And so they did, and it worked really well. It was a good ex, well, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the expansion. <clears throat> Raft is much more difficult in third person view. Okay, bugger. Drat. Okay. Thank you for the info though, Edria. I really appreciate it. Favorite to play such good memories. Wrath is my favorite. Really enjoyed Legion a lot too. I loved Legion. I honestly think Legion has been one of the best expansions. Like, they just, they made so many big changes and so many of them worked. The fact that the entire expansion, people were complaining about one thing, one Thing and one thing only and it was the the um uh, artifact power between weapons and different specs and alts and all that kind of stuff like it, but it was artifact power was the one thing they couldn't find anything else to complain about it was just that one thing the entire two years it goes to show that everything else pretty much landed like in in my opinion at least that's you know everyone is entitled to their own opinions and i'm you're definitely not going to tell you you're wrong because the your feelings aren't wrong uh but yeah i loved it mm. Mm. like a real stash i do i've got you know that hollywood tape the double-sided tape designed to hold your clothes together um yeah i've got some of that maybe i could stick that to my my top lip and stick on that <laughs> it'd probably with how much i talk though i reckon it'd pop itself off um Oh, Valfir. I'm supposed to be doing Valfir. Um, is anyone around who would like to, uh, or who needs the Valfir mount, who's willing to summon him for us? Because I still don't have it. Because when have I had time to farm up the Anima Conductor thing? That's right. I haven't. That's right. I'll just hang out till someone turns up. It'll be great. Um, which was also good. So mid tail end of TVC, Wrath of first beginning to end. It's red as the sweet tarot set. It is really, really nice. It's really nice. Um, and yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, I think I'm probably years off being able to kind of draw a card and be like, oh yes, this one means this. Uh, but <laughs> I can, I'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. Dotaro, those are real pretty. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You don't have to be in Dotaro to be able to appreciate the artwork on a set of cards. Like, you know, you don't have to you don't have to play poker to appreciate the art on a, st a set of playing cards or, you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah, if it's a custom deck. Um, yeah, I, I like them a lot. But yeah, I, uh, it's interesting. It's a, an opportunity for self-reflection. Lurkies, no worries. Enjoy your lurk, Keggy. Enjoy your lurk. About that for me personally, totally fair. Wrath was great, agreed it was built on Warcraft 3, slightly surprised how low key the end of Arthas in their last the latest raid was really. Sort of expecting a larger part, also high fear chat. Hello Kaz! Oh, I've added your um your text command, by the way. I've done that. Sorry, I forgot to message you. Um Yeah, I think I don't know. The thing the thing with Arthas, like 
I think it was a neat end. I think it was an appropriate end. I was I was surprised as well that it wasn't some big thing. But his story is over. And it's been over for a really long time. And I think it like it's that whole, you know, being able to let someone just fade into the shadows, allowing them to move on and allowing them to yeah, I think that was um I think it was appropriate. Hmm. Allowing other characters to kind of take the stage and whatnot. Yeah, it was interesting. Uh, it's not Renji legendary complaining, but yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Before they had the like the bad luck protection all that kind of stuff implemented. Once they did that, though, they definitely ramped it up as the expansion went on. And by the end of the expansion, if you didn't have every single legendary, it's because you weren't playing at least once a week. Like, <laughs> it was really easy to get everything by the end of it. Um, but I guess that's kind of how it's supposed to, you know, it's how it's supposed to work. You know, it's, it's, you gotta, you've gotta play the game to, to get stuff to happen to begin with. BLP was needed from the start, but they got it in there. They, they eventually kind of clicked to that and they got it in there. And then, um, yeah, towards the end it was, yeah, go nuts, have fun. Do what you wanna. Um... Legion was good too, also Legion Frost Mage is best Legion Frost Mage. Wow, in my opinion, fair enough. So funny, give me a reason I want to level my ults. The Order Hall campaigns are all really fun. That is the first time I had more than three max level tunes. I had 12. I had 12. I can't believe. Thir that's 3rd of April, 2017. It's been officially more than five years since I did that. I can't believe that. That's amazing. Far out. I still remember, like, Warrior was the last one I did, and I remember hitting uh, 110, being like, yes, let's go, and then working our way through the campaign and everything, and then it finished, and it popped, and I just kind of went, now what? <laughs> like the 50-50s, because I was doing it for so- Hey, it's a K! K stores sheet. Love it. Um, it was, like, I'd been working on it for months just like I had with 50-50, so it was just this trippy sort of, yeah. No, 100% certain there was a quite bit more content planned for this expansion than I just actually finished, they ended up shorthanding and going odd directions just to get the content released ASAP, and I think there are a few reasons for that. I think the pandemic definitely, like, screwed over a lot of people, like, a lot of developers' plans, honestly, not just Blizzard. I think a lot of devs have really kind of felt the pressure of trying to put out their regular level of quality with while working from home and all this kind of stuff like it's it's a big deal these last couple of years have been a really big deal and then of course having the lawsuit and stuff to deal with um and wanting to allow their teams to have a bit of space their employees to have a bit of space to kind of deal with what's going on while also still putting out content for the players like, it's not easy it's not easy. Actually, if you want to game Blackcraft at the Ocean Motion first person, Valheim basically the same thing, like where those pieces you go build and explore. I have watched through Discord, I've watched so much Valheim gameplay. Gameplay that's oh, okay. Noted, interesting. Might have to put that on the list then. Thank you, Edry, for the suggestion. I really appreciate it. It's um we've got a we've got a sub chat in Discord where um, I asked, you know, what do people want to see as goals? You know, we've got the goal making stream goal at the moment as our, our stream challenge. Um, and I, I asked, I flat out asked, what do people want to see? And so I incorporated quite a few of those suggestions into this month's goals. And yeah, so it's, uh, it's good. You remember where I was talking earlier about you guys shaping the stream? There you go. There you go. All right, escaped wildling. I got to go to Kothia. Thank you so much for that summon, Kay. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Plan for Shadowlands, yeah, main reasoning, a whole other portal in the ring that goes nowhere. Yep. She feels like there was a whole other area planned. Fucking Nathanos, where did that dude go? 
he has to be in the mall. He has to be. There's literally nowhere else that his soul can be at the moment, unless he doesn't have one anymore. If his soul disintegrated, uh, but if he if he went to the Shadowlands, he has to be in the mall, which means that during Sylvanas's punishment, she will find him. She will find him. Because she has to. Her punishment is to take every last soul out of the moor and take them back to the Arbiter. So, one of them is going to be Nathanos. <clears throat> so they got into reactionary mode due to people being so salty about the content delays. Yeah. Yeah, Arthur's got the ending. He deserved to be forgotten. Yeah, he was horrendous and horrible. And the, the other thing you've got to remember is that the rest of the world thinks he's dead. Like, the rest of Azeroth thinks he's dead. Because in Wrath of the Lich King, when Bolvar took the throne, he said the people must believe that the Lich King is dead. They must believe that that's it, he's gone. So what else are they going to do with him? And he was just a, a fragment left, a fragment of a soul. There's nothing else they could have done, I don't think. You're, you're amazing, Kay. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Do you have your green noodle or are you coming across too? I was surprised. Yeah, I, I was surprised as well, to be to be completely honest. Like, once I saw it and processed it, I'm like, yeah, that was right. That that fits. That tracks. Um, but when, I'm, when they were making him do the thing, I was kind of like, oh. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. But uh, yeah, no, it's um, yeah, it 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 fits, it fits. Does it had a ton to juggle? Yeah, I I do not envy their situations. Uh, I know you played Among Us a while back. If you like those sort of games, you should check out Aggro. Never heard of that one. Yeah, Among Us was interesting. Among Us was interesting. It definitely relies on having a bunch of people to play with. Um, who won't, who you can trust not to stream snipe. If you have random people in there and they realize one, a person is a streamer, they'll absolutely start stream sniping and it's just not fun. It's also against Twitch DOS, but it's not fun, predominantly. Um, it's back on. <clears throat> Happy to help you coming soon. 19 stream coming soon. I have seen people with amazing, like the, the steering wheels and the pedals and stuff and the big hole, like, proper what's it's and I don't know what they're bloody called um but like doing proper and I'm like it would just be so chill it'd be awesome it'd be awesome oh while I'm here I should also do my bog through multiplayer strategy game where everyone has to trust their intuition be aware of others act smart in order to win this is my Oh, yeah, yeah. So I've played lots of games similar to that. Um, what was the one, the the original one where they had, I think it was vampires or werewolves or something like that. And it was Salem. Town of something, something Salem. I used to, I played that back when it was like a, literally a text only with like pixel graphics. Is that, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, hey, Crum, doing okay. I've got a bit of a headache, but I've taken some painkillers. So I'm hoping it'll... Piss off soon. The Mount Two Bears One Stone. Yas. Yas. Love that for us. Give me a second while I follow the blue. Because I might as well do Melbog while I'm here. Because it's on my list as well. Got my head in. <laughs> no luck, but that's okay. Um, 
Hey, a J. I have to check your Discord up there. Hey! In what direction? I think it's only the beginning. Yeah. Um, having a good team of mods is everything. Like, I, I kid you not. Having a good team of mods is everything. Um, because, you know, you sit down once a day and kind of scroll through and read everything, but having people who can actually monitor it, especially having mods that cross several time zones as well, so that people can bonk shit, like, at different times a day, depending on when it pops up, can confirm. Super good. Um, they love all Arthur's parts, but fucking G's. I have the noodle. Ah, oh, brilliant! Congrats. Push the tail, but you go, we did! We did, it is on the board for next month. Seven is in the same place where my old computer melts into the wall. Oof, yep. Youch, stream sniping was an issue last time. No, but we did have a couple of idiots, like, putting, like, racist stuff and all sorts of whatevers. Um, it's exploring when people get too good at it, yeah. Yeah, we will impels all joystick use for additional controls, nice. Hey, Apexy, how you doing? You think if that's your thing? Uh, 5.30. PM currently here, so kind of on the borderline there. Hope you're having a lovely day. Did it actually work? It did, good. That's Malbog on me. I need to go check for the wildling. <clears throat> 3 30 AM! Wow, time zones are trippy. Like, time zones are so trippy, hey. Your dinner started. Enjoy, enjoy. Uh, no one has guessed the map makeup today yet either. Just FYI. Time zones are fun. They can be. Then they get real confusing real quick. It's a great mods, luckily. You know the vibe, luckily. Apollo is number one mod. Husband mods make good mods. Agreed. That's awesome. Yeah, look, I mean, especially because when when you have, like, I mean, Jas is my best friend and he's my housemate and we're just, we're, we're super tight. So, like, he knows what I want out of my community he knows what i what i wouldn't take and i wouldn't accept all that kind of stuff um so he yeah he's really really good at knowing what to let slide and what to not and etc yeah having someone who knows you on that level speaking of which just just got home i think he's just logged in on uh on battle.net um but yeah, having someone who knows you and what you want out of your content, it all it also makes it really helpful when you're like off stream and you want to talk to someone about stuff and all your mods are in Canada and America and you're like, I need to talk to someone about business shit. Can I talk at you? Yep. <laughs> it, it works well. Uh, Dryas, Loza, and Miko, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I'm not giving the game away. <laughs> Hello, Jess. The US got on plane 11, flew 12 hours, and arrived 6 a.m. that morning. But really went back in time. I just. I just. Uh, I think it's always been able to win. Oh, you're so welcome, Edgy. You're so welcome. I was like. So, I, it's been suggested to me that I need to find more ways to monetize what I do. Like, I need to find ways to actually make this a proper business business, right? A career. Um. And one of the things that was suggested to me was getting like a Patreon where I can upload maybe a couple of times a week short form videos, think like an Instagram reel, where I talk about an aspect of streaming or an aspect of life in general and how I manage it and like give non-specific advice and things like that. And I was like, <laughs> hum. So look, the fact that you're happy with like how I've answered questions and stuff in the past. I really appreciate that feedback. Thank you so much. I like it really means a lot to me. Oh, I need to push this button now. Um, I'm not giving the game away. Ah, uh, do you need to sleep? Leave out. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the lurk, Edgy. Enjoy your rest. Thank you. Good morning. Hello, Miku. Congratulations. Congratulations. How are we looking for um? Using, oh, nah. Grove Warden, Court, Ascended. Yeah, okay, that's, um, none of those are oozing Necro Ray Egg. I have to push it before you help me get the courage to actually start streaming, so all the love. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Bought the Autumn Noodle Vox the other day. Yay! Shiva, congratulations! Well done. Well done. 
Um, you can also consider having a fan house. <laughs> what? What on earth do you mean by that? Oh, is fan house another platform? It's noodle time. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I have no rhythm. I actually do have a hell of a lot of rhythm. I just don't have a plan in my head, so. <laughs> Similar to Patreon. There are so many platforms like that now, holy cow. It's all about like finding the one that's gonna suit your content the best. Like something that allows you to post a video right off the bat, uh, rather than text or just like just text or pictures. Um, having a, a platform, like looking at the fees that they take and stuff. Um, like <clears throat> how often they allow you to be paid out, like when it happens and all that kind of, like getting all that kind of stuff sorted. It's really important that you read all of those to make sure that God's sake. Make sure that you go for one that's going to work well for you, personally. Ah! Fucking fears. It should still be there when it's dead, right? I just have to click it and write it. And I've got a tag in it. I'm still in combat, although I am combat moving with the one that kind of I landed on. It's a house full of fans. Very interesting. But, all right. The makeup guess Molly because the browns and pinks are the bit of gold. Good guess, not Molly. This was have interesting and I'm in main. Good. I took the idea of a streamer house and look what I've my life even halfway across the world anyway. I couldn't do it. There are streamer houses out there. In fact, there's one in Australia. One. I think at least, oh, there was one. Um, I know someone who lived there. But basically, yeah, it's it's a management company. Like, like if you are if you have a manager, like an agent or whatever, and they buy or rent out like a mansion with 10 bedrooms or something ridiculous, and then they take six to seven of their top performing creators. <clears throat> it's like the TikTok houses and the YouTuber houses and all that kind of stuff. And they give them each a bedroom and a stream room. And then they all live together and they constant. Guys! That. It. Noodle! Noodle? Noodle! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Three. You love me. Ah, uh, you're fine. Everything's okay. Um, yeah, so the, the people who live there, they're constantly featured on each other's streams. They create content together. Um, but, the, like, that's where they live. They live with their colleagues and all that kind of stuff. And I, personally, could not deal with the motherfucking drama. No, absolutely not. Um, plus the fact that they'd all be in, like, their late teens, early 20s. And I'm... 32. So I, I wouldn't, firstly, I don't think I'd ever be approached to do that kind of thing. I'm too old. Um, but I just, I also couldn't do it. God, I could barely share a place with people, let alone have to interact with them constantly and, and feel like I need to be constantly creating content and all that kind of stuff as well. I, I just, oh God, no. God, no. Absolutely not. Um, <clears throat> so... <laughs> Definitely high suggest that Demon Hunter me super fast to level. Yeah, they are quite fast to level. Can confirm. They don't die much, except unless you're me. You shit, Lamau. <laughs> Thank you for all of the love that you are offering me in chat. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine where I am. No, doll! Yep, third attempt my ass. <laughs> you love me. And that's a chime. Streamax! Thank you for the congrats. Three. Green noodle attempt. Just not following what's changing. Oh, no way! Yes, I am on Saofeng. Welcome, congrats. Thank you, Thurls, and welcome in. The Thank you so much for joining us. The weed. Is that 
<clears throat> it is 6.53. Done. All right. Cool. So that's done. Uh <laughs> Streamer bias, always. I don't like people. I don't mind people. I like specific people. Um, but I, I, I also highly value my alone time. Highly value. Two weeks of ridiculousness in a row. Oh, that's just one. That's one so far. Okay, that one's done. We can't do oozing necro ray egg because it's not up. Like there isn't one today. So I can tick that off. And now I have to switch to my monk to get to Corthia. Living with colleagues sounds great, Kappa. Yeah, like it's literally what it is. Can't help but think these TikTok has like Big Brother. Yeah, attempt to manufacture drama for the content. Oh, it absolutely is. It it one hundred percent is. Absolutely correct. Especially considering that so many of them are like sixteen to to twenty one sort of thing. Like ripe age for for you know drinking to excess and for parties and for uh, you know everyone sleeping with everyone and, and all that kind of fun stuff like no judgment with with any like no judgment whatsoever you live your life how you want to live your life but goddamn i couldn't i just i just couldn't do that i couldn't keep up with all that crap i'd end up being like the house mom and no <sighs> if i'm going to have children i don't want them starting at 16 like absolutely not <laughs> not a thing that's happening um I spent like 200k gold tonight on two tunes. Wow. Did you get the noodle? I did. Noodle get. Thank you, Tony. She's 653. Yep, 653. Adore living by myself. Then when I popped up, noodle clips. Fantastic. Amazing. Hello, Yuri. Myself is the oh, absolute best. Down. I live with Jazz. I'm pretty happy with that. Six more people do it in to reach today's goal amount. Yes. Also, you're not that old. I'm not that old. Sure, but I'm also not 18. <laughs> like. <laughs> Is this luck lately? Grats on the spinach noodle. Thank you. We don't question it. We do not question it. We swear at me for getting it in three attempts, but we do not question it. Uh, <laughs> How's mama do that right? Mom, mommy, mom, mama, mama, mommy, mom, mommy. Yeah, correct. Not happening. Or, you know, having like 16 to 18 year olds constantly coming to me like, she slept with my boyfriend and I just, I, ah! I'll be like, yep, yep, that's fine. That's cool. You're right. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, it's okay. And then when the boyfriend sleeps back with her again and then the other one comes crying to me because it's just like, no. Hmm. No. Should I cook stir fry noodles tonight to celebrate? <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure what we're having for dinner tonight. Uh, the last thing can reset. Yeah, they're all on. They none of them can be any higher than a one-hour cooldown. So yeah, they're all on a sixty-minute cooldown. So you can't claim it right at the start of stream again. But yeah, uh, an hour later you can do them again. But like, why? It's always just kind of been like a. That's a, that's a bit of a silly. Um, I want to say hi. Hello, cat. Vod's been amazing. Oh, I'm so glad. That's awesome. I'm really glad you're enjoying the vods. Uh, I'm up to there is up to the nineteenth of Feb is on. No, it's not. <laughs> they're scheduled to be released, but I've got up to the 19th of Feb scheduled to go up on YouTube. Um, I rendered the 20th overnight, planning to upload it today to be scheduled, but when I went to watch it to check, it was black screen, no audio, so it didn't render properly. And I can't render it again because it's a full six hour stream, which means it takes about 10 to 12 hours to, re uh, to render, so I need to do it overnight. But that's okay, I'll do it. Uh, I'll start it as soon as I finish stream tonight, and then... Uh, hopefully I can pop it up tomorrow and maybe catch up with a couple more renders. Uh, cause while I'm, while I'm working, like while I'm doing my day job, I can render stuff in the background cause what I do for my day job is not graphically intensive. Uh, not even CPU intense or anything like that. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Three. Yes. Three. Uh, as an 18 year old influencer, we're all old. Correct. Yes, absolutely. Uh, how do you get a definitive mount tab account? Are you using the mount tab? No, I'm using data for Azeroth. Gardening after a little late to stream with me. Gardening, yay! I'm so ha I'm so proud of you. Look at you go. Good news means if I miss out on last, just wait and do it after the hour. I'll get my last if I'm last to do it. Do you work from home? I do. I do work from home, which I'm very thankful about. 
Uh, okay, we are going to call Thia. Our duty is true. Our purpose. In the stream so far, yay! We working whilst farming. Also, enjoy, enjoy. Um, usually we joke that people steal my luck on Mount Farm Monday because everyone else gets mount drops and I don't. But I got two mounts last week and I'm on one so far this week. So, like... We'll see how we go. Uh, is the banners in your about supposed to be a phoenix? Uh, yes. It's my logo. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a bit of a cross between, like, obviously Phoenix, but then, like, Moltres and Ashes of Alar and that kind of, yeah. Firebirds are kind of my deal. Um, kind of my thang. Get my account back on Thursday, yes. It would be nice when I'm playing a game and watch you, you know, because I'm ASD. So, um, older ones are on YouTube and they'll be there all, for, like, forever now. Like, that's, that's, they're gonna stay there unless something happens to my YouTube account or unless I decide to wipe everything off the planet, then that'll be there. Um, on Twitch, they're there for 60 days until they fall off the end. So if you're looking for something recent, do it on Twitch. If you're looking for, um, for older stuff or you want to help me get partnered on YouTube so I can monetize those vids, uh, then watch on YouTube. <laughs> I would get literally like 20 cents a year from YouTube with how many views I get, but that's fine. Um, Lugu. Lugu, if you does that mean your last name is Dumbledore? Sure. I don't understand the reference, but that's fine. Oh, because of, um, uh, he has a pet phoenix, right? I'm sure there are other myth, like, uh, non, uh, other fictional characters that have had pet phoenixes. Uh, even with the runa is, I was about to say gone. Less relevant is a better term, I think working from home is staying. Coming out of the community, working at your own pace, not being micromanaged. Oh, hell yeah, I'm so much more productive when I work from home. Like, immeasurably so. And my manager knows that. She's reckoning. But she's they also have, uh, like, a spare desk in the office so that if I want to go in, I can. Which is really, really awesome. Um, but, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I am uh, probably going to be heading in at some point in the next few weeks to go have, like, lunch with... Like the team that I'm a part of, just because it's nice to you know see people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <clears throat> brilliant. Watching YouTube, got it now. <laughs> yeah, you need it to to be able to monetize your videos. You need, I think it's a thousand followers, like a thousand subscribers, and four thousand watch hours. I think that's what it is. Um. <clears throat> Monetization. Yeah, as a YouTube partner, you'll be eligible to earn money from your videos, get creator support, and more. You meet the criteria listed below. Yeah, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours. Um, so I have 334 subscribers. I have 49 public watch hours out of the 4,000 required. So that's fun. That's hilarious. Uh, all right. Right, so talk to Popo. Oh, we need to do Malbog while I'm here as well, don't we? <clears throat> we should just get Malbog done first, considering that we can trigger that ourselves and then wait for Popo to spawn.
YouTube command. Fuck. So Dumbledore is always no a phoenix in the time lead. Gotcha. Now my Dumbledore does have a nice ring to it. <laughs> oh dear. I don't know if being Gryffindor is enough. I'm not a Gryffindor though. Give you one goddamn guess what I am. Like, it's really not that difficult. It's been crazy. Fox was loyalty. So short snow cameras, watch time for partner on YouTube. No, they don't. Am I blind or isn't the YouTube link included in the links link? Uh, it might not be, it's only something I've started doing recently. That's right. Minimum 10 minutes, I believe. So I lied when I said we found it. Help. <laughs> Alright, give me a sec. Twitch, you're gonna run ad blocks for streamers to make money. Nine ads at one time is a little stupid. Uh it doesn't do it by uh, doesn't do it by nine, like like number of ads. It does it by time block, so it's 90 seconds of ads. So if you get nine 10 second ads, then that's what you get. Um, or you might get three 30 second ads, etc, etc. Yeah, our, um, our pre-roll ads are turned off by the amount of time we roll ads for, not by the number of ads we roll for, uh, we roll. So that's, uh, there you go. Learnings. Uh, based on time, number of ads, correct. Not sure about the time limit. This physically say you should sort of count as watch time for partnering. Short break, only several minutes of ads. Idea is viewers can either watch that or get them get a drink. Bathroom, streamers and kids. As much just it is shown. I just want the pre rolls turned off because having pre rolls turned off has proven to increase viewer numbers. Like, literally, like it's literally been proven. Um, the statistics and stuff. Um, okay, back so tiny. This is an alt. That's how. <laughs> Hufflepuff? No, Ravenclaw. Yeah, I'm a Ravenclaw. Uh, this is apparently my YouTube link. Apparently. Uh, five ads and refreshing it before. Yeah, when you refresh, it counts you as a new viewer just joining the channel, and so it'll give you ads if you haven't, because it doesn't think you've seen them yet. Uh, unless, of course, you're subscribed, in which case it runs its script to detect whether or not you are subscribed, and if you are, then it doesn't show you ads on certain channels, not all. Um, some channels uh, have it set to show ads even to subscribers, uh, which is totally their call. Um, this is a great way to monetize, but uh, I think getting it, getting around the ads is pretty decent motivation for, for a lot of people to hit the sub button, so I leave it set <laughs> like that. Goodbye, my friend. So as a bit of region, doesn't have many ads, get one 10 second ad because that's all there is. Correct. Correct. Yeah, Australia runs out of ads every so often because Australia doesn't really recognize Twitch as a valuable investment in the in advertising. There are a few places in Europe, I think, that are quite the same. There's only like one ad that gets shown and once you've seen it five or six times, it refuses to show you it again. But welcome on in, Sync. I hope you're doing well. We're having a lovely day. This headache just will not quit. I'm gonna wait for Popo to spawn. Pre-rolls also checks out. Sitting through 30 seconds of some dog shit, really have to want to see the streamer that comes off to sit through that, really discover the new streamers, because I can't be bothered. Yeah, um, that's that's one of the big that's one of the big reasons why um mid-rolls work better than pre-rolls. Because yeah, pre-roll, someone jumps in, they go, oh fucking ad, and they jump out, and they'll go to try to find someone who has pre-rolls, like who they can watch instantly. However, if they've already been watching for 10, 20 minutes and they get hit with an ad they're already usually invested enough that they'll stick through the ad to continue watching after it. Uh, Mid-rolls, uh, you, you have, I think it's something like, God, I've forgotten the numbers now. 
but it was it was ridiculous. It was something like seventy to eighty percent of people will bounce during a pre-roll, but only like twenty to thirty will bounce during a mid-roll. Like it's um it's it's pretty big, pretty pretty big. But yeah, we have got pre-rolls turned off, so if you're refreshing, it shouldn't be showing you unless it's noticed that you're trying to refresh to get around the ads. In which case, that's maybe why it's starting the third, the 90 seconds from the beginning again. I'm not sure. I don't have access to their code. I've only got access to what they've told us about their code. Hmm. Spinach noodle. Yep, that's it. Here's green noodle. Green noodle fox. Uh, I only see about three different ads. Can't tell you what they are, though, because I flick when they start. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just here for the lurks and place troops. Absolutely, Perks, and we appreciate, we appreciate you for it. Definitely appreciate you for it. Hey, I wonder how long it takes Popo to spawn. Posture check? Yeah, right. You, you've got a point. Uh, let's turn that off. not his spawn point. Oh, it is. It just stuff spawns with him. Okay, that's fine. Time of 15 minutes. Okay. It's not too bad. And too long, a couple of ones are one after the other. Yeah. Yeah. So the other person needs points remind others today, but exactly, they go, oh, right, I haven't done that yet. Let's do that. Uh, how are you feeling surgery wise? We've got to ask. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. It's been like three weeks. And uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling just fine. Everything seems to be mostly functional, so. Yeah. All good. All good. Consumption. Why are we looking for the, uh, 24% for the gold making stream? My gosh. Really, really close. Holy cow. Uh, so a big question. I can be a little socially inept at times. I figured I wanted to ask what the prudent action would have been. From an early 20s on the bus, this is the most awesome jack I've ever seen. I wanted to compliment it, but I don't know if that's creepy AF for context. It was a perfect stranger. Um, I have done that multiple times, keeping in mind I am a small female presenting person. So what I do and seems to be relatively okay for me may not be relatively okay for other people. It, it shouldn't be that way, but it is. Like, this is the society we live in, so just acknowledging who I am and what my shape is. Um, but what I've done in the past, especially if they oh, it's Pepper. If they're wearing headphones, mm -hmm. do not try to get them to take their headphones off to compliment it. Um, usually if they've got headphones on or in or whatever, I will um, kind of get in their eyesight and then make a gesture towards whatever it is that, like not on them, but like, you know, fake it on me and then like give them a thumbs up and then leave. If they don't have headphones on, you can absolutely, like what I've done is I've approached and said, hi, sorry to interrupt you. I just wanted to let you know your jacket is freaking awesome. Have a great day, goodbye. And then just walk away. Like don't make them feel like you're trying to start a conversation with them. Don't make them feel like they have to respond or that they can't just walk away. Like you remove your, like give the compliment and run <laughs> not not literally run but like get out of there to make them not feel like they're trapped they might call after you and say thank you or whatever it is or try to start a, if they try to start a conversation with you after that then by all means 
um, they are usually it. So, like, for example, I've seen someone who had amazing custom headphones, right? And they were wearing them, of course. So as I kind of walked past them on the on the bus, as I kind of came in front of them, I, I kind of looked them in the eye, and once they made eye contact, I went, and then and then left, like big grin on my face, and then walked off. So for a jacket, I'd probably be like, and then and then I'd piss off. Um, but yeah, in terms of actually being able to speak to them, yeah, just let them know where the hell did oh there, um, like let them know it's nice, and then go away. Don't make them feel trapped. Don't make them feel like you're trying to get something in return for your compliment, don't, like all that kind of stuff. But because it's something that they've made a decision about that day, they've chosen to put that jacket on. They also chose to potentially purchase that jacket or maybe they were gifted it or whatever and they're really happy about it. And so they're choosing to show it off to the world kind of thing. That's something that I would consider to be okay uh, and, and comfortable as a compliment. Obviously everyone is different. Um, but that would be my general advice for complimenting strangers. <laughs> now, if anyone else has other thoughts that they'd like to contribute in that particular situation, by all means, let us know as well. Because just because that's how I do it doesn't mean that that's, there's no one, one solution fits all kind of thing. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I like your jacket and move the fuck on. Yes, that's that's basically it. Yep. Uh, your jacket is awesome and start running away. <laughs> like the drive-by compliment. No cat calls. Just drive by. Like your jacket rocks, and then like that's it. <laughs> Give the compliment and run. My life motto when seeing someone with amazing anything. Yeah. Like I love your hair because when it's like rainbow hair and stuff like that, it's just amazing. And it takes so much work to maintain that stuff. So yeah. Your hair looks amazing! And then just run. I have had a few people, like, laugh at the speed of my departure uh, and, like, call after me like, It's such and such brand! Uh, and that's been kind of fun. But, yeah. It's it's just, it's a, the key to it is making people feel like you're not trying to get something from them and that they are, they're safe. You're leaving, you're removing yourself from the situation very quickly, you are not a threat. It's, that's, yeah. And that, like, I, I consider the same thing from, from myself as well. I need to make sure that I am not a threat. Chances are a lot of you wouldn't ever consider me to be a threat, considering I'm 5'3 and, like, teeny tiny. However, that's not, like, just because of what I look like and my size and shape and all that kind of stuff. That doesn't necessarily mean that I don't look threatening to someone. And I don't know when I'm going to encounter that person. All right, so I've done both of those. Uh, it's definitely not Necro Ray Day, is it? No, okay, cool. They're the same ones as on. Okay, Lynn, so I'm pretty comfortable in ticking that off across the other tunes as well. <clears throat> Why do I not have Malbog on here for Alexia? I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Sprint. Yeah. The time someone's wearing something loud and flashy, a compliment is gonna make their day. Yep, no, I don't. I dye my hair bright fun colors. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Um, and it, it genuinely can make somebody's day. So if you see someone, someone doing something awesome or wearing something awesome or whatever it happens to be, then giving the compliment is absolutely a good thing. You never know who could use a compliment as well. Like, not only could you make somebody's day, you could also be that first step to pulling them out of a pit you had no idea existed. Like, you just, we don't know. So, happy things are great, but yeah, making sure that you deliver it in a way that doesn't make the other person feel like they should feel threatened. Um, I don't know how love people compliment my hair. I gone ahead with the compliment. It would have been exactly that. Passing compliment, no expectation of a conversation or something in return. Exactly, yeah. But that's that's why like the actual physical movement away um can be like immediately can can be a signal that they don't need to feel that way. And that they don't need to feel like they have to say thank you, or like they might be, they might have some kind of deal where they don't like talking to strangers and so they don't have to talk to you if you've already left. Like <laughs> they can just kind of be like yeah, I do have a nice jacket and continue on with their day. But yeah, that's uh, whatever you do, don't reverse compliment and run advice. 
no run my compliments game, but they're fun. Um, I feel like that's pretty much the most socially acceptable compliment advice. Yeah. Yeah. Drive by compliments. Yeah. You know, like your tattoo hair jacket pants sometimes. Where, do you, where did you get it? Yeah, the, the where did you get it thing, absolutely. It's uh, sometimes, like if I, if I approach somebody, oh. Oh, cause it's a, it must be an at home one. Who, who is that? Someone down there. Okay, so I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna do one, one emissary, one calling, cause it's a potential egg. What secrets do you um, hide? The own, so when, if it's a where did you get it kind of question, I would definitely deliver the compliment first and see how they respond. And I don't mean stand around for 10 seconds to judge their response. I mean, if you're able to assess a response in the matter of one to two seconds, then check. And then maybe if they re respond positively, then ask. But asking someone where they got it can feel like you're trying to get them into a conversation, which isn't always a super good idea. But yeah, definitely like if you can if you can like give the compliment and then you immediately see that their face lights up, then yeah, for sure, continue on with the with where did you get it? Um but yeah, don't don't try to get people into conversations that they're clearly uncomfortable to with having. Um use it to light the brazen. What to maintain oh, yeah, absolutely. And then move on. Yep. Zero threat drive by compliment is a new favourite sentence. Good. Glad. Thank you, Sam, for plugging the socials. Um, only thing you threaten is my boredom. Brilliant. My sleep schedule. <laughs> I threaten my own damn sleep schedule. Like. <laughs> um. Hey, Lucky, how you doing? How are things? Doing pretty well, thank you for asking. I do have a headache, but that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, obvious. My point, if they're sitting with someone who looks like a significant other, expect any kind of reaction to possibly be delayed as they go through the oh shit, oh shit in their head, yeah. Yep, absolutely. Um, and like, not even if they look like they could be a significant other, even if they're not a, even if they're not an SO, if they're a friend, like they're also going to be preparing, like, do I need to throw down with this, this approaching human? Like, unfortunately it's this, you know, it's what we live in at the moment. But yeah, that's uh that is a very good, very good point to raise as well. It could take them a second. She's a threatening small I am. Oh, I mean, I bloody well can be. Don't you, like... Oh, did I run out of time? Did I miss one? I must have missed one. Don't mince words. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's because I ran over a squish. I ran over the slime and it put it out. That's right. Okay, good. I just don't, unless I know the person. Totally fair. <clears throat> Networking events, though. Opening with a compliment is a great way to start a conversation. Oh my god, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Oh, from blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's super cool. It looks amazing on you. Good trip. Oh, I'm fear, by the way. The only thing I know about networking. <laughs> well done. Also, take a dexterity and cunning. Can you see what? Yep, yeah, that's that's Zygor having a bit of trouble. Um, it's it thinks it it's not sure that I've finished the world quest yet. Yep, that's what happened there. Um, I should do that one. And I should also do the pet battle one. That's a flawless battle stone. Um. Um, uh, amusing 
thought. Ah, uh, my favorite type of public interaction, the Noom compliment. Yep, correct. Bring some happiness to someone's day and then piss off. <laughs> Cope with regulation distance when making compliments and standing for attention, then look away. Uh, an introverted person, men of making people smile with stuff I wear or do myself. We are yeah, should blast that packer everywhere. Yeah. Would you be willing to repurpose uh, Where did you get it? It's, it's sort of a mixed bag, yeah. It can be especially great if they made the item themselves, though. Yes. The air was once yeah. with anima. Absolutely. But yeah, it's all, it's like, it. a lot of it is just about reading the room, honestly. Um, which I know that for some people who ask questions like this, reading the room is not one of their strengths, which makes things a little bit difficult, which is why like the blanket advice of drop the compliment and run um, is, uh, is, it's kind of, it's pretty much a coverall. Like it, it works in most, if not all situations uh, without having to be able to read reactions or body language or anything like that. Um, but just if, if they are wearing headphones, do not ask them to take it off. Like that's, Rule number one. <laughs> uh, body paint content city with a funny looks can stop and give a compliment. Yes. Make sure the interaction is for them, not for you. Correct. Uh, only thing that matters is how you make them feel, not what you feel or can get out of it. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. That's a really beautiful way to put it. Thank you, Sink. It's gone such a cute skirt. One, two seconds. Thanks. Where'd you get it? Such and such store. Cool. I'll look there. Hard to find skirts like that. Moves on. Yeah, that's that's a good interaction. Good interaction. Um, yeah, it can, it can definitely kind of, um, especially like if, because obviously, you know, where did you get it is absolutely a signifier of the start of a conversation, um, start of a potential conversation. If people are in a rush or if they don't want to talk to people or if they just feel uncomfortable, that is absolutely like a conversation opener and they're not going to want to do that. Um, but, you know, it's, again, that's just about reading it, and if they're, they're clearly not particularly comfortable with, with the question, then, uh, yeah. Abort. <laughs> abort operation! Abort, abort! But, yeah, it's, uh, definitely a situational thing. About already? It is indeed. Uh, I mean, I just remember this on the stream. Hydrate. Nearly enough? Yeah, it's... look. Why do you think I have it as a redemption? Um... That makes me less of a threat. Yeah, it's unfortunate that it's that way, isn't it? It shouldn't, like... I really wish it wasn't, but it is. And that's... Um... We had a slime I did. I did. Never come on a stranger body part. Only something that had control over, like, the wardrobe. Correct. Absolutely. Something that they made a choice that day about is uh, what I always say as uh, as the key. I grab someone saying, I like your eyes is kind of creepy, but I like your eyeshadow is not as creepy. Because it's something that they've put effort into, something that they chose to do that day. They didn't choose to have the eyes that they have. Yes. I absolutely always created. Aww. Thank you, channel. Red hips. Uh, did you say love your pants? Puppets are great. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of the time I've found that people offer it up. Like, if people compliment something I'm wearing, I always offer up, like, where I got it and that it was a bargain or whatever because I like sharing that kind of information. Um, and so, quite often when I do my drive by compliments and I say, I really like your backpack, they go, Oh my god, thank you, it's from Blah! And done, you know, like that's end of end of interaction. Aw, oh, thank you, Wanda. Oh yeah, shoves off. <laughs> exactly it. I can't always read the room. I was always air on the side of caution. Yep, of course. Your presenting people also have very high telltale subtle expression. Uh, they do to whoever they are with when uncomfortable around someone. Loyal's uh, land, uh, Aprobod, and RPG Julie. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Hope you enjoy it and it's delicious. Oh, did I get a skin? I don't think I did. 
No, I didn't. I'm still looking for that mage skin. Did anybody else get skins? Please tell me someone got a skin. Is it uni? I tackle my social anxiety by giving people compliments and then disappearing. Would go by a table, be like, those are gorgeous earrings. Or your makeup is on point. That's a killer shirt. And then flee like my life dependent. Yeah, that's honestly, that's a really, really good strategy for like, because not only, not only are you practicing actually interacting with somebody socially, but you're practicing looking for an in that is positive and focuses on them, which are like key points when you're having like one, one of the things that I did a lot and I, I still do it a lot and I'm actively working on it. Um, but I did a hell of a lot more when I was like in my early twenties is I talked about myself a lot. I was very like, I, I wouldn't go so far as to say self-centered, but whenever I was in some kind of conversation, and someone was talking about their own experiences or something like that, I'd be like, oh, yeah, I had something like that and this happened and then I did that and blah, blah. But it, I always managed to find a way to turn the conversation around. Myself, and it still happens, especially when I'm streaming. But like, <sighs> it's really hard not to when you're streaming because I don't know a whole fucking lot about you guys. So when you're talking about your experiences, the only real way that I have to continue that conversation is to talk about experiences I've had that relate to that or to try to give advice or whatever, which I'm not always great with. Like, so it's all, look, but in real life, it was something I did a lot as well. And I still do it a fair bit, but I'm actively working on trying to take the conversation off myself and put it onto other people. And it's, it's a skill. It's a skill to have. So because you tackled that social anxiety, by putting the focus on the other person, you're you're looking for things to compliment people about and you're expanding, like, you know, if you looked at someone and you're like, I really don't like any of what they're wearing. Oh, that's a funky hairstyle though. Like you, you start to learn more and more things that you can bring attention to on another person that in a positive way. You're also taking, like when you're having those conversations, everyone turns to you when you're talking and then it's like anxiety and then you go I like your earrings and then everyone just focuses on the earrings because you've drawn attention and then you can bugger off or you know later on once you're you're getting better with that stuff the focus isn't on you anymore so it's yeah like there are so many great reasons to use that as like a as a, a learning tool with with social anxiety if you're if you're feeling capable of doing it obviously and that answer will change day to day and there's nothing wrong with any of that um, but I, I really like that. It's super cool, Lucky. Necroate freaking hurts his- Oh, Jess, I'm sorry. Uh, don't hit up people on the way to the toilet. How, well, no, not outside the- How would you tell- if they're, Okay, if they're outside the bathroom, no. No. Um, but like, how do you tell if they're just like walking in general? Is that- Have I missed some like telltale sign? Because I would love to know. I would hate to interrupt somebody on their on their way to the bathroom, especially if they like need to go. A local monthly art opening. Friday event, a woman complimented another woman walking by on her jacket and the complimentee literally went out of her way to ignore it. The complimentee was just like, fuck, wow. Oof. See, they could be a bitch. It could just be a, a snobbery thing, right? But, like, was there backstory? Like, was there drama? Was, like, the woman, was the complimenter the new partner of the complimentee's ex-husband? Or, like, sure you, you know what I mean? Like, are how... Hmm. I swear to God I'm not good at writing, but sometimes these sort of... Look, I'm good at overthinking. I'm not good at writing it down. Um, <laughs> but, like... That's, I, I, there's got to be some backstory there. There has to be. Uh, or the fact, like, maybe the complimentee is just really, really socially awkward and was like, I don't want to interact with this person. It's a person in general. I need to go. Um, so, yeah, but, like, there's got to be, there's something else going on. Something else going on. Uh, inability to read the room is a known catastrophic bug our generations have. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Oh, dear. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Uh, an unprecedented ability to convey emotion through text. Uh, I got skin. Yay, Jess! I have skin. Does that count? No, because I have skin too. 
I didn't the get a skin. Has grown feral and hostile since the fall of my house. I am Wait, confused and concerned. No, I wasn't supposed to say that. It Wait. Uh, left for one minute. Came back to everyone saying they have skin. What in the heck did I miss? Ah, uh, Stream Raiders battle. It was a skin chest. I was asking, did anybody get a skin? And Jas got one, and Shiva said, I have skin. Does that count? My second skin! Yay, Draz! Congratulations! Always well feeling 65% sure they're interested. We'll ask more questions about the topic. Really talk about myself. It's, it's a really easy pit to fall into when people are genuinely interested about what you have to say. <laughs> you end up giving more people more information than they individually care about. It's, it's a thing. I have no interest in saying anything out loud unless it's useful and or necessary. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, I hydrate. Thank you, Lars. I think I scared uh, some people off with how accidentally focused I am on myself in conversation at times. Yeah, right? Exactly. So I too am working on not doing that. It's hard. It is really, really tricky, but it you absolutely can do it with practice. I'm in I'm in the same boat. And it's it's something that you constantly work on. Just constantly work on it. Um at a group and the speaker says, okay, break time! Or if they're heading in the direction of the toilet. That's okay, that's fair. That's fair. People who need the bathroom tend to be walking quicker. Yeah, with distant look on their face as all their focus is elsewhere at the time. Very fair. Very true. You can tell somebody's in the bathroom if they're charging headlong through the crowd like it's nobody's business. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go back and turn in. Ah. Oh. oh my god, it wasn't supposed to be world quests. Holy cow, I'm supposed to be opening treasure chests. I am a numpty. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> I'm really good at this. Have I told anyone that? I'm supposed to be getting coins of brokerage and they come from the chests, not from bloody world quests, but that's fine. It's great. Everything makes sense now. Good. Good. I uh, to come up with this conversation. You have very confusing. Yeah, streamer to skins. Uh, what just happened there, Jess? Ah, oh, okay, good. Noted. Um. That was quick. Or maybe I'm just not paying enough attention. Don't worry about it. Yeah, too late. I found it. What language is that? <laughs> you translated it, right? Holy fucking Jesus. Yeah, no, that's not just a ban, that's a report. Holy fucking Jesus. Good lord. Okay, um... What does this even come under? Um, give me a minute. <clears throat> Inappropriate or obscene content. That sounds like it works. Let's do that. Sorry. 
Uh, where, where was I up to? Um, there we go. The possibility of this mission, the look on her face is shaped, another comic book is more like, mm, yeah, your opinion is shit, thanks. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Move. I know, right? Also come from rares. Ah, of course. Your tattoo thinks this one is X, this one is Y, this one is amazing. Look great. How long did it take? Oh yeah, if they if they trigger the start of a conversation, absolutely you're more than able to take them up on that. But it's more when you approach them to try to strike up the conversation that it can get a little bit awkward. But yeah, no, absolutely. If if you give them a, a zoom by a new compliment, drive by compliment, and they decide to continue the the conversation by all means go for it by all means if you feel comfortable of course you may feel more comfortable uh numing away but that's entirely up to you um missing mounts you can coins from the rares that are mounts <laughs> true true um let's actually i have too many add-ons that show things um no, wrong one. This one. Oh, cheap sand. Check my eyes. Don't watch me say. I really feel someone like that. Of course I did. She was eyes be bleeding, man. <laughs> How are you on this fine morning? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Bit of a headache, but surviving. How are you today? Glad not to be a mod. <laughs> it's fine. Report ban. <laughs> <laughs> or ban report, actually. Uh, how strange to come into a stream and say that, though. Like, what kind of person do you got to be? Um, they're looking for a reaction. They want a response, they want a reaction. Or they might be playing that game where people speedrun Twitch bans. They go into a chat and they say, how quickly can I get myself banned? Um, and they make it a game. And then they they grab those clips and or record, they screen record themselves doing it. And, um... Uh put it on the YouTubes and whatnot with the streamers' reactions. But yeah, that was just a aesthetic. I laugh it off, not something. Not enough at work. But yeah. Witness it, thankfully it wasn't aimed at me, of course. Like, I both missed so much and yet dodged a bullet. Yep. Baggage bullet. Uh, on top of the ocean, see what happened. It was because it got caught by auto mod first. There was, uh, it was sent in a different language. However, one of the words that was sent was an abbreviation, which was caught, and the abbreviation was caught by auto mod. So none of you ever saw it. It, the, the message was denied. They were banned offhand, and uh, and then when I went and translated what was sent, um, I also reported them, and I'm assuming that Jas and Sheba have gone through and reported them as well. Um, I mean, they don't have to, like, I'm not, it's not required of them as their, as part of a job or whatever, but, um, I, I'm assuming that they, like me, would like to have that person removed from the Twitch community at general, at large. <clears throat> I was hoping that Tahunter would be up, but they're not, but that's okay. I'll just grab those chests instead. Um. Why was that putting me on ashes? Wasn't I supposed to be on the... Oh, I'm in the wrong spec. That's what my um, my macros aren't working because I'm in the wrong spec. I was like, what's going on? Twenty-five percent completed. Oh, Amazing. Sun. Oh, goodness gracious! And Metafun, thank you so much for your sub. Much appreciated. Um, who's that? Thirty-nine months. Good board. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. Much appreciated. Um, 
I speed run Twitch bands. Yeah, I know, Sync. It's ridiculous, eh? But yeah, people, they get bored and they like to troll. It's their, it's their, um, hobby, I guess. They should probably get a new hobby, but it is what they do. Uh, and they upload it on YouTube and Reddit and all that kind of stuff. I should be better going all the way back to the car alarm thing. I haven't noticed all stream myself. Neither have I. I think it might have stopped. I think they might have finished work and finally done something about it, which makes me very happy. And now that I've said that, give it two seconds. Uh, be easy having that crap come through. Um, sometimes, sometimes there are. I'm I'm human. There are absolutely some messages that will hit different to others. Um, but that one in particular, uh, <laughs> it's, it was, it was just like, I can't think of any word other than pathetic. It was just so pathetic. So yeah, like if that's the life they're living then best of luck to them. <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, thank you for your concern, though. I appreciate it. Sunshine, I'm feeling great. Hope the headache goes away soon. Me too. Thank you so much for that. Um, battery finally gave out. Oh, God, Tell that'd me be great. what you see. Watch okay. everyone. And has egg? No. <laughs> no egg. That's fine. Uh... Uh, and then Malbog, so I need to go to Korth, or... So, I think I've... I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip and just go to... Uh, I'm gonna skip to the third chapter. Oh, right, it's gonna be faster than Hearth, right, gotcha. Um, this is probably the tune that needs the help the most in terms of like the gear and stuff you get, but I don't actually care. I'm just gonna skip. Of course, that local sporting team, the one that plays from local pub and or tavern. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, at least we're about halfway through my uh, my farming list today, so that's interesting. I have a question. Has anyone had any issues with buffering or quality or like having to drop the quality on your viewing of the stream or having excessive buffering? I mean, I'm sure most of the people who are experiencing that just left rather than sticking around to try to fix it. Uh, so they wouldn't be able to tell me, but any of the regulars, have any of you experienced any viewing issues with stream in the last, sort of, few streams? No, not at all. Fantastic. Oh, and Zam, I wanted to say thank you for the uh, throne recommendations. They're both amazing, and I'm trying to figure out if I can justify, like, where would I put the poster? <laughs> um... Yeah, thank you for those. I really like them. She was uploading for a couple seconds for me. That's buffering, yeah. A few buffering issues it hasn't been severe enough to stop me watching. Okay. The buffering eventually will cause lag. Like the, the buffer size will expand like and you'll be like 60 or more seconds behind be. stream. Um, Time has come to resume our pursuit of the jailer. I await you in Orbos. <laughs> Crap. Um. Oh, I can turn those in. Okay, let's go do that. Uh, not with yours, mostly watching US streams. Okay, and hi, Gita. Have you, is that a new Twitch account? Okay. 
Is it saying you're a first time chatter? But I could have sworn is we've had someone with your name here before. Your patronage is always appreciated. But I could be wrong. So I'm just wanting to check in on my C20. Okay. Oh, she doesn't seem to know. I mean, to be honest, usually she is fair enough. When I came in, get up with all streams, and I don't normally have. Okay. My internet provider here. This thing's my hand based on the streamer just pops off. The bell is ready, but nothing crazy. Okay, awesome. Because, um, I'm pretty sure it was on Friday that we changed the bitrate from 3.5k up to 6k. And one of the big things with having a higher bitrate is that people with worse connections experience more buffering when you've upped it. So if it's comparable to this time last week, or if it's nothing too drastic, then that's good. That's good. It means that it hasn't changed too much, which is great. So Carl, I'm car is gone. Thank God for that. That would be why you haven't heard it. It's because it's gone. So me mainly watch those stuff up. Now they don't upgrade. So now I'm watching through browser. Interesting. But it said because it's saying that you've never messaged here before. Like it said you it, now it's saying you've only ever sent two messages. So I'm wondering if you've somehow created a second account to be able to to, to use desktop or something. Uh, use the browser version or something, I'm not sure. I think Carol doesn't make us go check, but rather makes us hope the car gets stolen faster. For when it's not your car, yes. Okay, we're not doing that. What we are going to do is check for Melbog. browser yeah because you're using a different account either you've logged in with a different twitch account it tracks your followers across twitch account not across like pc or whatever so you need to log in with the same account that you were using in the desktop app for it to uh carry those across why Yeah, but not carrying your follows across. Like my follows carry across the mobile app from everywhere. Like the same, the same follows everywhere. Um, that's because I've got the same account logged in. You can absolutely post in Becky Bucks for it. Damn it! I hate how squishy my rogue is. I swear to God, if I respawn on the path to Malbog, I still have to like go back to the start and do the whole track again, don't I? Check that. Yeah, of course. Um, let me, hang on, let me have a look. Uh, I might be able to see in the currency. Well, it hasn't been awarding currency for a while. Um, let's see what comes up. Yeah, so your Gita games, all one word. Um, I've got in here Gita underscore games as your other account. So I'm guessing that you've got both those accounts and you've logged into underscore games in the desktop app, but you've logged into no underscore on, on the browser. So that's why it hasn't pulled everything across. Yay for, yay for currency tracking and stuff. <clears throat> I was just a bit concerned because I'm like, hang on, has something broken? But no, thankfully not. Yeah! 
Charles will sit in stealth, avoid random fights. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. That's probably something I could do. Let's... I'm curious to see if I have to do the whole path again, but let's just, uh... I was doing it mounted because it was faster, but this is probably a lot safer. <clears throat> oh, Conthrob spawned. So obviously someone's done Malbog fairly recently. Ah, there we go. Perfect. It does work, as long as you go back to the same spawn point. Oh, wait. Help. Ah, are you here? Hey. Sheba's coming. Blue eyes out of date. Piss off. <laughs> Mustache can do. Give me a minute. have all your followers back and all that kind of stuff here, Gita. Not mount. But that's, um... That's a big upgrade on my gloves. <laughs> so I'll take it. Plus a new appearance. Amazing. Alright, so I'm gonna... Ooh. I'm gonna head back to the garrison. Bye, Sheaves. Thank you for your help. I appreciate you. I'm a Sushafia. So, who doesn't have tier 6 with the Archivist Codex? Two five, only two four. Two five, maybe. Nice, no, might be five. So, after Malbog, the next thing on the list is tier six with Archivist Codex. So, does anyone want to farm with me? Alliance, though, bugger. Botanical here doesn't exist. I cannot fly there. It probably doesn't exist. Okay. Okie dokie. Bum, bum. Oh, the Alliance! Ah, 
one hot chin after Janine's is in love cap? Of course, of course. I'm just being honest. Of no doubt, no doubt. Ah, oh dear. Yeah, I need to do Malbog, and then I need to apparently get to tier 6 for Archivist Codex. What rep is this, Enlightened? It's... Oh, I'm tier 4. Shit, I'm halfway tier 4. Good lord. Okay. Mmm, this will take a while. But that's fine. Uh, let's press this button while we wait. Uh, sort of same. I've also stripped myself too thin by spending off time leveling 60s. So, um, the week horror you might have seen on my screen um, is a thing to help you check off all the things you've done that day that can give you archivists rep. So my idea for this is just to get as many of them done as possible. Preferably all of them. Um, and that should get me the max I can for today sort of thing. Because I'm pretty sure you can't farm it anymore. I know you people were doing it, they were jumping into the rift and killing tons of stuff or something, but I don't think that quite works anymore. Um, possibly because there's not enough people, but um, also I think maybe they changed something, I'm not too sure. <clears throat> but there is also um, the quest chain that you get at, when you get to four. Um, this one, I think it's this one. This is an achievement as well. Yeah, I gotta enter a rift. Um. Na 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 na. Bam. Congratulations to Aperithor and Miko on all your bonus shit. Come on, button. There we go. As an entity for a measure of certain as the highest, yeah. That's right, I am, uh, what am I at? Uh, five, I'm 52% through tier four, literally practically halfway. But yeah, so I figure I do a little bit of farming today and then we'll see how we go. So this bit here, this list here, is a weak aura to show what you can do to get Archivist's rep. Apparently. Apparently. I... We... Have a solemn responsibility. Follow the purpose. Always. Alright. Rift portal. Do you have a rift key? Might be in my bank, actually. Wisdom and knowledge must be preserved. Yeah, I have three in my bank. Let's get those out. Shall we? Um, just do I just need the keys and such? Yeah. Okay. I've got three. No rift here. I know 
it is potential for one up top. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm not a paladin! Uh, not many things left on the map for me to get on fear. Where? Where are the other rifts? Baby to da 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 baby to na 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 da da I'm not a paladin. It just disappear without me getting any fruit. I think it did a decent one. Baby, do da 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 da. Let me confer with my sources. No. Spectral chest. That helps as well, because that's got stuff in it, so we might as well go grab that. While we're looking for a rift. Shoes. Interesting. And burn out is real.
second. One K. Oh, I like that it can only be one of these, so it disappears the rest of them. That's cool. as well. It's not on the list. Yet. Maybe it'll never make it onto the list. Maybe it'll drop today. Accidental mount. Like uh, like the, Mor the Morat last week. I still can't believe that. That was so good. So good. The only person who bought through my shard now? Really? Did you? I'm guessing you did like a slash who and no one was there. Far out. Interesting they haven't moved. Maybe you're the start of a new shard. For God's sake. Maybe other night you start of a new shard. People being very picky. I mean, they've got every right to be though as well. Um. Now that now that we know that working from home and flexibility and jobs and all that kind of stuff, now that we know that that's possible, people shouldn't have to expect. They shouldn't have to take anything less. But also burnout, like especially in healthcare. Like I think that's probably more to do with it. Just sick of people being shitheads and all that kind of stuff and wanting to step away and, and find something somewhere else. I get that too. It sucks, but I get it. Work mode, enjoy your dinner. I see, that sounds amazing. I like dinner. It is a nice thing. Hey, Jess, what are we having for dinner? Out of curiosity. Has it despawned? Or are we still waiting? Are we still doing the waves? Still doing the waves. This one takes ages, doesn't it? Uh, the day in ZM, gaming partner and I are both on the same server and same guild, both will mode offer on two different shards. That's so strange. It's really interesting. You just didn't realize what was shifted from lack of jobs to this feeling of freedom to be picky. It's kind of cool though, hey? means you uh, have a little more power to negotiate things that may or may not be to your favor in in some industries and at some levels of training as well like you've got to keep that in mind there are there are some people out there who are still having one hell of a difficult time finding jobs because they don't have like the right skills or the right job history and stuff um, but yeah call center work and stuff oh absolutely do whatever they want Amazing the gong truly sounds like good food. No, that's not real. That's the same one I can log two in, same server saying same place beyond different shards. So silly. Well I mean, but it makes sense though, they have to have just like an algorithm for plonking people onto shards. The more they try to be like, okay, well if they're in the same guild, then we'll try to put them on the same one. But the more that they try to do that, the trickier it gets and the more likely it is to break. Um so I get them just wanting to make it, you know, just plonk them wherever they fit. Just do it. Makes sense. Okay, so there's a, oh, there's a nest up here that I can grab because I still have four nests I'm allowed to get. Mm. That one down there, another more swan cache. Yep, I can get two more more swan caches, so I'll go grab that. Oh. Right. <laughs> I always forget this bit's a little bit broken.
So the rift portal's down here. And then there's a couple up there. I think I need to go for those ones instead, because the first place I'm supposed to go is up top. But also the um Spectral keys. I've still got two more keys to get. RNG for everything here. It's being dead sounds good, but not particularly tasty. Agreed. I agree with this sentiment. I ask you, why do we not time that key? Me topping your full DPS as the tank. No idea, buddy. <laughs> sure, it's just a random RNG for everything. Yeah, a little bit. Hey, little bit. <laughs> It is. Mushroom. This one up. It's a whale. This one's a nest. Let's check these spots for keys then, shall we? Inundated with overqualified folk. Oof. Rough. That's not a key. That's not a key. It's a key. Trying to, I was trying to be fancy. It didn't work. We go grab our final key and then find our way to the chest. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. It's our last key. Cool. So that's off the list. rather than you know staying alive yeah that's fair there is a bonus not as like a focus i guess this week there we go. good evening trud how are you doing today Swan chest. Does anyone know off the top of their head where the Hell Swan chest is? This isn't a real rep, it's a bit different. Steak or pork? Ooh. Steak. Well, no, that was the one I just opened, special chest, that you get these special keys for. Oh, 
This... Oh no, there is a rift. Okay. Let's hop on in then, shall we? Fantastic. Thank you. 6648. Thank you. Appreciate you very much. I miss. Hey, Chewy. Uh, not a whole lot. We got him out today. So far. One. So I'm pretty happy with that. <clears throat> I'm currently trying to get my archivist. Wrap up. <laughs> this is just uh, not being very nice. We could grab a few items from within the rift without dying. Google while you rep Oh, Aw, that's so kind of you, Gita. Thank you. Being in combat. It's my mirrors. I'm invis. I feel like I did. They keep farting. That's hilarious. <clears throat> Legs, of course. Um, with just things to think. Yeah. Grab that while we're here. So we can grab the roof and cases they count for my rep as well. Let's root it on you.
fits. The, the hippogriff looks really creepy in this filter, hey? doesn't tend to take too long especially considering you got the whole week to do it keep that in mind but um yeah doing like ah um if you wrap around and do like all the pet battle ones it's super quick and then do all the pet battle ones like the next day as well yeah. there are definitely ones if you're aiming for if you're not aiming for specific rewards there are definitely some that are much faster than others So that one's not down there. It must be across the way. So slight annoyance. Alright. I must have missed it. How do I Oh, yeah, true. Right, of course. I kind of forgot what day it was. Magic. Oh, stolen Corthian supplies. Across the way we go. level one. Well, there's your first problem. Oh, it's like Pokemon. There's no shiny hunting. The mount mount hunting is like the shiny hunting. And, and, but the Pokemon, uh, the battle pets in WoW are similar to Pokemon in the way that, like, they have, uh, they're, like, they're uh, stats and stuff there's different builds you can get them in not as not as in-depth as in Pokemon of course but like you can get like PP builds or BB builds and stuff like that um, that affect their stats and stuff so you can min max it like that if that's something you are keen to try out um, yeah it's opens up a whole new world as well of course just another aspect of how to get you get its hooks into you.
Shit, no path available. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. One last set of caches to hit up, and I've got three minutes left on my rift buff. Unlucky. Um, I've only got two minutes left on this buff, so I'm going to show you this real quick and then we'll switch back and do the battle stuff. Um, trying to get my last. I've only got one set of caches to check for this battle. I need that and then I can exit the rift. Still need my four more specimens for the quest. Not that one, good lord. Shits don't count this one well. Put me a quest item, please. Great, Bod, Fade, Draz, Spam, Trig, and Loza. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Ah, here we go. Well done, Thor, on the raid. Good lord. Loud. I'm still placing rogues, aren't I? Okay. Okay, back into the rift. Yeah, 
Okay, I have another two keys. Enter a cave to grab some azure pages for some reason. Oh, for Book of Binding. Okay, yep, sure. I'm sure there'll be things in there I can kill for my coffee and repositories. It's all mine. Joke about the raid, of course. It is all yours. What to you, my honor? I'm on my mage. This is my main. Oh, storm. It's my main, Fiamma. That's odd. <clears throat> it did. But you can speak to me in chat. <laughs> find some azure pages, shall we? I figured as much, considering that you were the person who just asked me what tune I was on. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm intelligent enough to put two and two together. Um, Alright, so... Am I supposed to be link stuff in here or is this grabbing from the ground sort of deal? Just this collect. Looks like cave is empty. Am I supposed to use the book to find no Let's see any pages. I'm guessing I'm supposed to kill stuff, but there's nothing up because I'm guessing someone else has cleared it out already. Odd. Zem, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Hope you step on Legos. Thank you. Ah, most of those commands. A single time, no matter how. It brings a chair chagrin to my. It's super cute, isn't it? It's adorbs. There are no pages. Like torn sheets of paper on the ground inside the cave. Okay, so they are pickup ones, but there's no. I can't see anything. Oh, I was supposed to exit the rift. I just remembered I was meant to exit. The previous step to this was exit the rift. I'm an idiot. It's because they're not in here when I'm in the bloody. I'm good. Let's go get these last three Corthian repositories. the right place for the Hellsworn cache, Gita? Because it's off the map. Maybe the map is a different size when I'm outside of the rift. 
I'll check again when I'm uh, at the rift. It's crossed. It's okay, she's in Desmoteron. Oh, so it's 6648 in the moor, not in Corthia. That would be why. Perfect. Good. That makes so much more sense. Thank you, Sink. I'm like, that's off the map. That's like literally out in open floaty space. Like, what is going on? That makes perfect sense. I need one more thing, and then I can... No. Cross platform. So it gives Ark of a strap. That's why it's on my little list of... How we go back and enter the cave? <laughs> Look, there we go. <laughs> right at the entrance. Love that for me. Anima Vessels Rift and Anima Vessels Venth I mean. Wonder. Shiva, fantastic. Amazing. Let's go turn all these in. Let's see how much closer we are to tier 5. I didn't realize I was still at tier 4. I thought I was at least sitting in tier 5. I was wrong. Another for the ah, another for the car. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. One step closer to a fully restored archive. Oh, that's the clothing surprise. Trust in the past. Okay. That was a good jump. Really good jump. Welcome to the archive. Still not quite two five, but it was a bloody good jump. But I've still got things I can do today. So that 
Nice. That was yes. Oh my god, absolutely. Hey, Attack, how you doing? Yes. We are done here. That was a few bits. All right, sure. Um. Okay. So we go. We we'll do Malbog. So what are people farming the bears for? Like what's they drop? I read a blanket. Okay, I'm guessing the cat probably tore it open. Yeah, everything everywhere. Good. Um bad how is you yeah not too bad leather interesting okay Good to know because yeah there was a whole bunch of them i've been doing malbog on a few tunes and um there was a whole pile of them over there that just like <laughs> yeah lots
There we go. So I've done Malbog on the tune now as well. No luck there. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, just Corthia mounts. Uh, no, I've got my list, and there just happens to be a lot of Corthia based stuff close to the top of the list now. Because people have got more powerful gear, so they've been able to, you know, solo it without help and all that kind of stuff. So, are you what that list is talking about? Where is the actual... This this week or I have here is really useful, except I don't know what half of them mean. Um, your dinner. Enjoy your dinner! Enjoy. There it is. Um, so mushroom nestles from here to the bone stones, relics in Corthia, spectral bound chest in Corthia, relic gorges or relic gatherers in Corthia. Other creatures with a purple outline. Uh rift bound cages in Corthia Rift. Stolen animal vessels in the moor from both assaults and rifts. Hellsworn chest in the moor and the spectral bound chest in Corthia and its keys. It's listed twice, but that's fine. Um, okay, so Relic Gorges, are they? They're the ones down south, yeah? Down here? Maybe? With the souls, I think. Yeah, that's what I was just looking up here. Stolen anima vessels in the moor. The reason I haven't found any yet is because they're in the moor. The problem is, do, um, the rift, am I supposed to get into the rift in Corthia, then run through to the moor? Or is that not how that works? I haven't really done much of this at all. Um, as you can probably tell. <clears throat> Like gorgeous invisible mobs you can see after you've unlocked the ability, they just run when you engage them. If far enough they despawn. Oh. I've done that. What level is that available at? I did though. Ah, okay. Oh god, that smells so good. Oh my goodness. 
pink here. Green stuff and steam stuff. Green stuff and steam stuff. Thank you so much, Jazz. How it oh, okay. Like treasure goblins, NPCs are immune to any type of disease. You can fast enough to eventually the portal. Mobs can drop from Corthian cipher book and other types of loot to increase your ability. Requires reliquary sight. Get this buff after you buy the item research report all seeing crystal. Allows you to permanently see and find creatures who are carrying, carrying relic fragments. That's the one that makes people, makes mobs highlighted purple. I've got that. <clears throat> It seems like a really, really rare spawn. Mobs can drop this over. That's okay. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. How was work? Well, 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 well. Just luck. Bye bye. Ah. Uh, yeah, Vente Port is like best in slot. And was in um in ZM as well until we got flying. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it looks like the gorges slash what's its are like fairly rare. So I'm not sure I'm gonna be too up about those. I don't know. But I think I'll go get that horse one chest. And uh the purple mobs, I seem to remember a lot of them being down this area. So <clears throat> also I might as well do a rare. So I'll drop some tasties. To twit grumper tacos, yeah. Yeah, I didn't bother doing that because I figured no one else would be able to get up there with me and I knew I wasn't gonna be able to solo it. This is right up the first area to the west of the press tub. Up the top here, yeah. Um that's where I the farming the lost razor wing egg as well. Alright, cool. Well, I'll head there if I can't find any in this area. Because I've got two purple mobs that I can kill before they'll stop being highlighted. <clears throat> Apparently.
They also have the little stacks of um, meat and bones and stuff up here quite often. At least that's what I've noticed, so... Oh, excuse me. Oh, Zam. I haven't made cards in a while just because I've been... <laughs> also, I haven't been resetting my garrisons or anything at all for the last couple of months just because busy. But oh well. Super annoying part. Yeah, they're like treasure goblins. Hello. Huh? Oh, yeah, garrison stuff, yeah, yeah. Lock up here, am I? <clears throat> There's a pile of bones. So I jumped to 83%, so about 30% doing all those quests and stuff. But, um... <laughs> I get the feeling it's gonna take a while. Um, is it the same amount of rep each tier, or does it do the doubling thing that it does like normal reps? Out of curiosity. spawn for a while now Ugh. um well if if she has run then you've missed her because she <sighs> runs and then despawns at the end and it's not a it's not a long run um i don't know how long it is but it's not super long so chances are you've missed it um but it's only like a two hour respawn level you're fishing um friends injuries we did <laughs> Okay, thank you, Kaz. Ah! Van, thank you so much for the cheer. So thankful. Thank you for your generosity. Just tuned in. Pleasant surprise. You're from the same area. Ah! Throwing love you. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Van. Welcome on in. Really glad to hear you're having a nice night. Hope you enjoy your time with us. Hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. Where it is? Quick short challenge. Fair enough, Chewing. Fair enough. Um, uh, Corthia is, like, attached to the side of the moor. Um, yeah. Basically attached to the side of the moor. There's a, there's a quest chain that you can do each tier, I know that much. 
I just did the one for tier four, but I'm still like, yeah, a bit off. Okay, uh, Shield, Jay, Silver, Loza, Trig, Thor, and Cat. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Nothing more I catch up mechanic for gear. There was a lot to do in Corthia, but there was, um, it was a little bit interesting. It was, uh, yeah, it, it was, it was interesting. Hmm. Catch the next one. Hmm. She spawns at like um. Is it like the top of a waterfall type thing? I know it's water there because I leveled my um. I leveled my fishing while I was waiting for spawns. Um. Hmm. Wasn't the best. No, I I would not say that Corthia was the best. But yeah, there is a lot to collect. Like it was a it was a really good keep you occupied zone, depending on what you enjoyed playing, like what parts of the game you liked. Can we kill it? World Cracker, right? It's a cool team. I kind of want to do Krelva because it's actually a drop I don't have. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. The yeah, Amaya, brilliant. brilliant. Uh, fingers crossed you've got the uh, quest done that, or the, the item or whatever it is that um, gets rid of your. In my stack. Although, I, from memory, I don't think much spawns down there in terms of enemies. <clears throat> so you should be fine. I just got my first ever commission from Yesstyle. Finally earned enough to cash out. So thank you. Thank you to everyone who contributed to that. I didn't get a chance to do my, uh, so there's, um, they've posted a uh, competition for YesStyle influencers. You gotta style a mini skirt from YesStyle, um, and post it on your Instagram and they'll pick a bunch of winners. I think it's like five or seven or something like that. They get a hundred US each, so that would be really nice. I'll let you know when it's ready to go. I'm planning on filming it tomorrow because I didn't get a chance to today. Um, but... Another one they put up today was, uh, they're sending out, um, again, in influencers, they're, they're sending out a J Beauty, Japanese Beauty Kawaii look kit. It's got a bunch of, uh, little different makeup pieces that are all from Japanese brands. And the idea is that you have to create a look using the stuff in the kit. And like give a mini review and then post that on whichever platform you choose um, in return for the stuff. So I signed up because I do definitely could use more makeup. But 
I feel like it, I, I don't know, I feel like it might actually help me create new content for Instagram and stuff. Cause I mean, it's great. Like posting clips and stuff is fantastic. Like that's awesome stuff. But in terms of the other things that I post, I get a little, sometimes I get a bit stumped. Like I don't know what else to post on Instagram, which is why I'm meeting with a, a an actual marketing manager, professional marketing manager, so that she can help me kind of find a bit of guidance maybe um, on what might work and what might not. Um, but yeah, posting, like putting together a makeup look and posting, I feel like it's going to be uh, nice. But I gotta get, I have to be selected for it obviously first. So there's that. There's that. Alright, I think I mean I need one more mushroom. Let's go check out and I still need two purple bobs actually. Let's go check up where we were talking about before. Yeah. Um Beer noses. Yeah. And these beauty kawaii. I'm sold, right? Like, come on. It's got like a, um, hang on. Let me pull it up so I can tell you what it actually has in it. Like the kit. Um, that's not what I want. I want to get in here. But yeah, I feel like if I do a bit more focusing on things like yesterday style and stuff like that, it might give me some ideas. Especially considering yesterday we were talking so much about, like, um, how my... You know, my best palette for Instagram, my most successful palette for Instagram is selfies, is photos of me, um, <laughs> particularly in green. Um, so I feel like um, maybe focusing a bit more on yes style stuff for Instagram might help me figure out how to post a selfie that isn't just the same goddamn picture every day. <laughs> Cause um Yeah Yeah uh, Okay, where's yes, style Influences This one So there is what looks to be a mascara what looks to be a liquid eyeliner That one I think is a brow product is a oh no oh yeah that is definitely a brow product so maybe that isn't a brow product let me you guys can help me figure it out <sighs> help me figure this shit out so i'm thinking the first one on the left with like the ombre pink lid that's mascara that curved brush is a a very mascara brush that you don't tend to see that the only other thing that uses a spoolie that that bristled brush like that is called a spoolie the only other thing you usually see that uses a spoolie is uh, eyebrow product. So it's like either eyelash or eyebrow. The spoolie is designed to coat hairs in product. Um, then the next one, so if we're going like zigzag, the next one down with the, it's like a maroon pen with like a little pointed tip. That to me looks bang on for a liquid eyeliner. Um, so that'd be, that'd be cute. I'm terrible with liquid liner. Um, unless it comes with a stamp, but that's fine. Uh, then fear as geisha. I mean, that feels a hell of a lot like uh, appropriation. But, but um, look, maybe something similar. I basically, I think what I do is probably look at some Japanese beauty trends, and then create a look based on all that. Does that make sense? Um, I think that's probably the direction I'd go with it, rather than trying to create an actual very specific cultural look. Um, just because I do not have a drop of Japanese blood in me. Uh, <laughs> um, then the one above that that's, that has the, the three, like the brown, the brown and the cream with the little brushy thing. Um, I can't quite read it, but the, the bottom words, it looks like, almost looks like this is mini eyebrow. So I reckon that that's probably an eyebrow kit in that you draw in like the little sponge pointy bit on the bottom of the brush is designed to like sponge on the color to get it more intense and then you use the brush to sort of blend it out a little bit so it looks less like you've painted your eyebrows on the one below that one the gold sort of tube with the black cap with the facets on top i don't know what that is 
the like the the picture on it only shows her eyes, so I'm going to guess it's something to do with either eyebrows or eyeshadow or matte or lashes or something like that. Um, and the but the bottom pink strip along the bottom says "Kiss Me," so I don't know if that's maybe the brand. Maybe the brand is called Kiss Me. Um, start that calm. Okay, I can go up there. Um, there are no purple mobs around here at all anywhere. Uh, yeah, don't, I would highly advise against kissing packaging, just because you don't know where it's been. And, uh, yeah. Also, maybe don't kiss your mascara spoolies. I don't think mascara tastes very good, and it'll make a bit of a mess. So it's not a brand, unless it's supposed to be two words. Yes, there is a brand called Kiss Me. So that'll be what it is. Let's have a look. I bet there's an understatement. <laughs> look. Where the hell are my purple mobs? I am quite upset by this. We should give up and just go to the more. More bits. Mm. Mm -mm. Not a mob, but a pile of stuff that I need. Hmm. Not that they sell for much anymore, but oh well. Taste regardless. Zero results. Well, that's not very helpful, is it? Oh, okay, so it's not the, okay, so it's a line within a brand. That makes sense. Okay, so the actual brand is called Isehan? 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 I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. It is Japanese. Um, I'm, pr I'm assuming it's probably Isehan? Because they don't really have like a hard I sound from memory, unless it's got like a Y, I'm not sure. Let's wait for these pictures to load. Let's see what we can find. I also don't have. I've got another mushroom I can pick up still as well. Oh! It's an eyebrow gel. I found it. It's an eyebrow gel. Heavy rotation coloring eyebrow. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's it's an eyebrow gel. So you've got the powder to color the like the skin underneath your eyebrow to like get it to be colored and full and stuff, and then you've got a gel to set the hairs in place so they don't get knocked around. Go. It is eyebrow color. You're right, Ali. You're right. Um, but it'd be a, like a liquid color as well, as opposed to a powdered one, so that it can. Hold it, like, you know, put, set your brows in place. I use an eyebrow gel, currently. I have a pencil that I do to do the colour, and then I put a, I've got a spoolie for, for gel over the top to, like, comb out the hairs in the right direction. Purple mobs, do you mean the ones with the ruby buff? If so, you don't have the buff up. I've got, it's permanent. I saw one before. There's an item that you buy and you use it and it's permanent, so you don't have to use the item every time to make you be able to see them. I've never had to use it before and I, I saw a purple mob earlier, that's why purple mobs was three and now it says two and I saw one before without using any buffs. 
So congrats! Well, I is remotely upgrade book unrelated to River Death Ruby tracking map. Yes, correct. Yeah. Mm, yep, yeah, so it's an eyebrow gel. Uh, the one above that, you can't see the product, um, but the fact that it says UV and it's got smiling glossy lips tells me that it is a lip gloss that becomes more pink in UV light. So I'm guessing that outside it will be very, very pink, um, but then it like won't be as pink if you pop it on indoors and just stay indoors. Or something. Um, the... The tube, I believe that that says mermaid skin food on the front. So I'm a little bit confused by what that is. I don't think it should be a moisturizer. It's mermaid skin gel. Not skin food, skin gel. Mermaid skin gel is from Canmake. Which. Over there. Um. Sure they do. Skin gel. So it's a gel sunscreen. That's nice. Uh, and then the last one, the the one up the top, the pink thing that looks kind of like a perfume model. Uh, I reckon that'll be a blush. So you've got eyes and eyebrows, and then and then blush and a, a clear lip gloss, which is very much the. Uh, not sure about Japanese specifically, but the Asian trend is very much for like less is more. It's a very natural look. Not not the kind of stuff I do usually. This is success times three. Fantastic! Congratulations. I miss permanent buff does disappear sometimes. I thought it was a couple of brains, maybe death or something. I did die, yeah, but um, it shouldn't matter because it's a permanent buff. It shouldn't be up. It shouldn't be up there. It's it's supposed to be hidden. Like it's supposed to be just a um what's it? Still missing a mushroom as well though. Oh, there's no buff, just a thing you can do now, yeah. You have learned the ability to do this. It did, it was a buff when it was like an item, because I'm pretty sure, was there at some stage where it was an item that you could consume and then you'd learn the book to learn it permanently? Maybe? I don't remember. Maybe that's why we're thinking there was a buff involved. Already dead. Damn. That's fine, I guess. All right. Uh, let's try heading for. Bye. Um, I think the grommet pet thing. Ah, yes, yeah, sniffs out chests for you. Yes, it's not with the buff. Guess you got so into the data which you realized the stream of top on the screen. Oh no, that's okay. No need to apologize. Hope you're having fun though. With the Margrave's help. Mm -hmm. Here's Ruby tracking is a buff I can see my character. Yeah, that's Revendreth. <clears throat> no, it's totally.
totally fine. There are enough buffs and bits for this whole, like, it is totally fine to get them confused. Okay, so now it's 66. Whoa. <clears throat> Hasn't prep with this advance. I should probably do that, honestly. Maybe I should finish off my Bound Shade Hound farm halfway through. It's going to take a long, lot more than a couple of hours to do that, me thinks. <laughs> well done, Shiba. Making progress. Time goes on. Our enemies <laughs> amass outside Helgard uh, Keep. Thin their numbers before they have the chance to strike. I can't end this. Fine. Just keep running, just keep running. Oh, stop. see it. Like all the way on the ground ground. Yeah. There's also not like it's there but it's not on the um it's not on my mini map like it hasn't alerted me to its presence. So maybe it's just not there? That doesn't sound right. Okay, so... It is not the Bone White Primer Raptor.
So I'm absolutely in the right place. And it looks like it's buried in snow. <clears throat> like on the screenshot, it looks like it's buried in snow. Half buried. Maybe it's like underneath there, or is that the wall? That's where it's meant to be. Yeah, like literally right there. It's just not there. That's annoying. I think I'm done farming this rep for today. <laughs> I think it's a little, a little, uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, but we do need to do the Covenant Assault. Um. Yeah. Run away. Yep. Long forgotten hippogriff. Nope. Not there joining a group for the boss to realm hop. Nah, it's alright. It's alright. Armoured Blue Wind Rider. Nope. on a vessel times two. Kill. Okay. Death runner. Nope. Okay, um, have this one. <clears throat> Throw me. Come closer, my new friend. Your arrival heralds our victory. Lead our charge what? into the fortress. Every soul can Thank you, Maw Walker. The souls will be taken care of. Shadows watch over you. Come for Catalyst. So nice to see you. Lady Moonberry, might you kindly cover our advance to the fortress? 
Those extravagant new trip. flavors. No Ooh, one can see us unless we want them to. <laughs> Everyone's you down. Yay, Thor. Well done. Well done. The cloud serpent. Ah, uh, yes. Ground only. Correct. I own it and it is a ground mount. The colors are a creamy, browny sort of shade. Uh, pinky purple and gold. Uh, red skeletal horse. Nope. So we've got oh, excuse me. Amazing. Gonna get us achievement. Achievement. Not a lot. Uh, okay. Swish, Draz, Alley, Cat, and Fate. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, onward. The next battle. Swift Olive Raptor, no. Swift Albino Raptor, nope. Zandalari Direhorn, nope. Blessed Fell Crusher, yes. It is the Blessed Fell Crusher. Well done, Thor. Uh, can I have a number from you, please? Between 1 and 100. I jump over here and I can show you. Is this one? Pink rather than purple. Yeah, pinky purple. Pinky purple. I've got the pinky purple. Ah, bugger. Bugger. Ah, four per day. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so yeah, only four of these actually are up per day. Been gone. Car has left the car is no longer parked where it was parked before. So I'm happy about that. Um, so Thor, did you have a number for me? One to a hundred. Your prayers. Right down the middle. Beautiful. Alrighty, here we go. Dark future, blood red states. Just realized I have redemptions I haven't done. Oops. My, I am not spelling your name right. There we go. There you are. 
There you go. Congratulations. Oh, I'm dying. That's very nice. Um, so I had... This one that I totally forgot about because I am a noob. Go. Stretch. And a pasture check. Woo! Go. All caught up. Maybe I need to get the disguise to be able to see people from the achievement. Wouldn't surprise me. Four of them up. So that's not one of them. It's Archivist Fane. So that's. You do need to be in the disguise. Smyrna's three. Since I laid hands on a living mortal, are you in a rush? Um, Ivan's the last one that I still need. Um, but I don't know. Laurent and the Countess could be up instead. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. Um, I fear to choose a voice mod. Oh, thank you. I like that. Yeah, Ivan's not up here. I think unless Ivan's like up top, which also could be a thing. No, I couldn't go to my kids' final sport thing as being sufficiently vague because internet. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, pick one of my dogs up from surgery. Approaching. Stuff when he arrived home. My parents had written this really lovely card. Aw, that's so sweet. That's really lovely. Yay. Yay for people caring. 
Oh, that's nice. It's not about the chocolate. I would be too. That shit ain't cheap. No, it's not. It's how you know they all chipped in. So I gotta find the worthy soul. Look like white sparkling ghosts on the ground around this area, and you click several of them to find the correct one. Let's go do that. You're one coin, Zam. Holy cow. Them. <laughs> That's really funny. Let's grab these two and hope that one of them. Oh, oh, I already got the worthy soul. Okay, never mind. Um, I need to use Moonberry's wand to shrink an enemy. Use it on submissive Morat. No more enemies. Uh, I've got to slay 15 shrunken enemies. All right. Hockey day. Till it loses, then you find a new lucky coin. Thank you. 
excuse me. Seven more shrunken enemies. Shitty press penny machine. A nexus. I didn't tick Fane off. Damn it. <clears throat> Let's go back and go again. Ah! Rosalika, thank you so much for gifting the Archer's skin to McGram Cracker. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a fantastic day, the both of you. So generous. Uh, what link did you put in there, dude? <laughs> but yes, do not forget to, uh, Contribute your embers to the gold making stream challenge. I have a feeling that this one will uh, be fulfilled just a touch faster than some of the other ones we've had. I type. Oh! You typed asterisks. Okay, fair enough. Because I'm like, don't visit Donate Yoga. I was like, what? Oh, Retro, welcome on in. Um, I have played competitive games before and I'm mostly fine. Like, all I can do is the best I can do and even if I'm playing at my absolute best, there's a pretty good chance that the opposing team is better than I am. So their absolute best will top my absolute best. Well, the reason I stay away from League mostly is the uh, reputation the community has. Uh, but nothing against the game. Just, um. It's also not really my kind of thing. Like, I've never really played. It's a MOBA, right? No, not MOBA. Wait. Yeah. I don't even remember. God, my brain is dying. Um, yeah, I just. I don't really play the genre. 
Um, never, I never played Dota or anything like that either. It's just not my cup of tea. But I'm glad it's there for people who do like that kind of game. You can make a decent living off it as well, so like, good on them. I know, right, Seeker? How cool is that? We blasted through 25%. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I have no idea why we're talking about League. Um, unless this is another one of those kind of gimmicky things where you jump into a random stream and bring up something random to record the streamer's reaction or something. Like, <laughs> you never know on the internet. You never know. I need, okay, now I just need to do tea. All right, cool. Let's get up there and grab tubbins. So we need to be Archivist fame. Targets in combat. How am I supposed to find people not in combat? Like, jeez. He will win battle. Tea always body. wins battle. Nine out of ten Theotars approve this tea. Oh lord. Tuppins and Gubbins are amazing. Can we just can we just acknowledge this? Tea solve all problems. The new mounts. Yes! I got the spinach noodle! And everyone yelled at me! Because <laughs> it took me three attempts. <laughs> Hello there. Oh I should have got my real quick round five or so. Yeah. Well done, Thor, winning the raid. Good job. New flavors, less burning. Oh, excuse me. Okay, you're out of here, bad bud. I got most amounts the first three weeks. Holy cow, that is lucky. Well done. Yeah, I, um, I didn't put enough effort in, to be honest. Uh, but I had other things going on, so, you know, it is what it is. Oh, our potential savior of the Shadowlands has arrived. All tight! With the power of Revendreth and Ardenweald united, 
Even the most dreaded of the Jailer's Beasts will fall with ease. However, I did not expect it to be quite so large! <laughs> Look! Now it's easier to hit! Love Renathal. So good. I'm sitting up, look, I'm mostly sitting up straight, okay? Right, I still have that streamer's choice, but don't I? Uh, let's have a look. <clears throat> oh, hydrate, okay. Welcome back, Loz. How you doing? Grant, not getting it along, boy. I am glad I got it when I did. I'm glad I was able to get it when I did. I set myself a challenge and achieved it and went and bought my mount. Felt pretty damn good, I have to say. Let me travel through the mirror again. Something off the age. Yeah. yeah, it'll do that. <clears throat> It'll do that. Long boy plus Katie. Hmm. Hmm. Then it was great. Awesome to hear. Good. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Katie is amazing. But like being able to mount up, buy stuff off the auction house, drop Katie and grab it from the mailbox, like all out in the middle of nowhere. It's fantastic. <clears throat> Well done. Powering through. Control the land. Sounds like you're having fun if you're playing that much. You are not one of us. Don't help me with my first one. I ain't gonna help you with her. G hub seven is he fit? There we go. Mm -hmm, same. So these kingdoms are oh, fantastic. Oh, such good news! Yeah, leveling leveling new tunes is a great way to go and get like it's two birds one stone. Where you, like level through the zones that you need still for lore master, and you end up with a level tune at the end of it. Works well. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I got Law Master well before I needed to level any tunes. Um, but for people doing it now, people and who don't so have Law Master yet, works really, really is well. Ours for the okay. War chest. Do I get the mount? Yes! Oh my god! I got the mount! Guys! Holy shit! Five attempts. That is a 1 in 25. Much, much, like, less rare. But... Oh my god. Mount 654. Hell yes. What is a voice we don't use very often? Actually... Let's go with Ethereal. This one I don't see them redeemed very often. Usually it's Gnome or Gnome Extreme or Blingtron um, or Fungal Giant. This is a, this is a new one. Oh, but it's all completed. Um, Alright, Tormentors of Torgas isn't up for... Actually, is that at 9? No, it's changed now because of time... time shifting the doodad, right? So I would have missed it at 8. Oh. Oh, 9 p.m. GMT plus 10. So it's in like seven minutes. Perfect. Um. <clears throat> Is there an easy way to get back to the I don't have a cycle. Attempts. It's not like. Come on. Come on. Be nice. I've been feeling attacked here, Chips. Feeling attacked. Killing it. I know, right? Two mounts! Ah! Oh my god! You thought yes and boom? Yeah, right? How awesome is that? That's gonna teach me, Master. Um, you need to persist. Stubbornness helps. Patience is not patience, it's stubbornness. Um, but yeah, you just, you need to focus on something and just get it done, do it, actually do your thing, every week, or whatever. This is why I don't, I don't mount fun like all the time, it's just numbers. So even though some of the things on my list can be done daily, I still only do them weekly, because it keeps me focused, it means that I'm not like burning out on mount farming. I do as much as I can one day. I'm a um, fucking casual. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and I'm fucking loving it. Basically. Two mounts in one day is illegal. We did the same thing last Monday, Sheebs. Um, but I haven't deleted the Covenant Assault one yet because I still have two other Covenant Assault mounts to get. The other two. That was my first one. Alrighty. Neke, Ali, Thor, and V, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Onward. Onward. I am GMT plus 10, right? Where I am. Um. So it'll be, yeah, four or five minutes until the next Tormentors spawn. If anyone wants to join me for that, now's the time. GMT plus 10, perfect. Some source. One quest still up, Jesus, I'm doing well. Which is confusing. But does GMT. GMT doesn't move, does it? 
Does it? Do they have daylight savings? So it's Sentinel Pyrophus is the one that's popping up in just a couple minutes. So how is the ethereal voice? What do we think? Settings. Oh, good. Brilliant. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. done it already yeah I, I yeah it activated and then I had to turn it off it's it's this one this is ethereal oh kidding okay get forward cheeky shit <laughs> oh so that blush that um that blush that the style influencer thing is including it's a cream blush so that's fun Jess, congratulations. Good job. Come do Tormentors with me. So you don't have to. I actually have a fair bit of, um... Look, I've got a plant bit of anima, but I've also got some, uh, research still in my bags. This one from the end of it. Cool. Correct time? Yeah, okay, fine. Enjoy. That way? Oh, is the- hang on, no, never mind. Uh, it'll spawn in the next couple minutes. Usually it's a couple minutes past the hour. So we're almost there, though. Just gonna see where it's gonna pop up. Go. Oh, it's a close one. Cool. So, um... Shiva, if this mount drops, are you gonna, like... Yell at me? <laughs> Seethe from afar. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Still got five minutes or four minutes till it actually starts. Two, don't worry. <laughs> well, we've matched last week. Last week we got two. I got the one that I was aiming for, um, which was. Which was 
actually good. I bought the one with the with the Amina. I bought the Anima mount. Uh, actually, I think the week before that, I bought the two reputation mounts too. And last week I bought the Anima mount for Night Fae. And I randomly got the more rat out of the more sworn Cation ZM, which I just flipped my shit over. And then yeah, today, two drops. I think it's hilarious that I got the Night Fae Corthia mount before I got the Red Fae one. Let's just put that out there. But um... I guess it's, I've actually been focusing on that one, whereas I have not been focusing on the Vent Fae one. March 18th was the last scan. March 18th was the last scan, which means we're due for another one in the next couple of weeks, so my list will get updated again. The other kind of bouncing books in Night Fade, 90% of my tunes in Night Fade! There you go! There you go. That's kind of funny. Six hundred and fifty-four minutes. I'm I'm really happy with that. Like I'm so excited. Numbers going up. It's going up. What when was ZM released? It's as many as me. Ah oh, dear. It was released the 23rd of Feb, wasn't it? 23rd of Feb. Like 20, 22nd, 23rd. Because I remember it was right, I was so thankful that it was after What's It, and then, yeah. And then we were planning on spending the six year marathon on the 26th, doing, but we couldn't. So yeah, 23rd of Feb. And they released <clears throat> 41 mounts. So, 23rd of Feb. I had 641 mounts. So I've gained 13 mounts. Thirteen out of forty-one to stay like ahead of the curve, sort of thing. Mm. The twenty-two two being being very yeah, but because of um because we have our shutdown on a Tuesday night, which was the twenty-second. And then it actually released on the 23rd in Australia. But yeah, for the US it would have been the 22nd. Bigger. 13 mounts since released. We're gonna get to 41 before the next patch comes out. Or at least until the next mount containing patch comes out.
is Shujin? How are you going? Welcome one in. Can I get the hand of... no. Wait, hang on. Hand of Mathra? No. <laughs> Look, or chain of a Mathra I should say. Look, it's fine. It's okay. It's alright. Next time. Right, let's go smack up Haraka. Uh, good, how are you? I'm very well. I got two mounts today. So I'm, I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> got me a spinach noodle and then I got the Venthyr assault uh, mount as well. And one of my mods is very angry at me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we got two last week. And I'm thinking I might have gotten two or three the week before as well. So, like, I've had this spike in luck and I'm waiting for it to drop on my head. Because, you know, it's how it works. But no, I'm, I'm really happy. Really happy with that. Uh, feeders thicket. No. Bainwood. Where's... Go on. I can never remember which mirror is which. Black Spike is the rebound from February and March. Look, maybe. Maybe. You could ha you could be onto something there. That bloody heartbreaker, oh, I swear to god. Hmm. <laughs> never again. Except next year, of course. Um <laughs> In the Fear Stalker's absence, new leadership has taken root. Strike them I'm still down. on account mode, aren't I? I would explain a lot of things. The brokers have secured a cache of curious weapons from other realms. Let's see if they will be of any use to our cause. I genuinely don't know how you did it. Did what? Look it down. Oh, the... <laughs> I'm like... The, um... The, the runs, um, adrenaline, <laughs> and uh, and just sheer stubbornness. Honestly, it was I can't miss one because then I will have failed. Even if it doesn't drop, as long as I get all seven hundred and fifty attempts, that's a win. So I did it. I just got I got it done. So I was like the last twenty. Maybe even less than last it Look, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. No, it was absolutely my adrenal glands. For that last batch in, like, the crack of the morning, it just... <sighs> yeah. It was the excitement, it was the hype, it was the will it drop, it's the last chance, and then it didn't. I'm like, okay, bed. <laughs> Bedtime. Everyone's on in bed. Nice fiery bed for you. Thank you, Isaac. Much appreciated. Woke up on the last one. Oh, convenient. Is it because I was doing lots of yelling? This will be my 50th attempt. Okay. So Caroline stopped. The guy is gone. We don't know if it was moved by the owner or if it was moved by a tow truck company or what, but the car is gone. Thank God. Obviously, watching stream does not make for relaxing time. Oh dear. Some streams are far more chill than others, like in terms of day-to-day -day variation. There is a bit of variation here, absolutely. Uh, right, High Mountain. Paragon. Maybe someone stole it, oh god. I hope so. I'm kidding. Uh, so I need to hope the next expansion doesn't get live before February. You can have a little leveling to do first, because leveling is fun, might not be a bad thing. Um, I- they won't. They won't release it at the very start of the year like that. Um, I, I firmly believe that it's going to be, like, April 2023. Like, now that we have the launch, like, now that we have the announcement happening, like, in April, I think it's, I'm, I'm, like, I would almost put money on it being April, May. Um, I would say probably May, so that they can... 
Like they'll aim for April, but they'll say 31st of May 23, so that if they have any issues, they can spend that extra, have that extra month as like a buffer. Um, I'll be surprised if they announce it as a release date any earlier than that, because it gives them 12 months. It gives them a year to get everything sorted and done. Uh, and I think that's around, because you've got to remember, like, not only, yes, it's been in development, obviously. They've got something to show us in as part of an announcement. Of course, it's in development. Um, but you've got to remember that they have to go through the internal testing. Then they have to go through alpha. Um, so the, the very earliest thing that could happen, like, the day of the announcement, is that they go with alpha, like family and friends alpha. Um, because they're not going to let people do that until after it's been announced, usually, I think. Um, but they might also do, like, um, a phase where they've got content creators doing preview bits and pieces uh and then beta beta uh, and that'll be a while betas usually run for for quite some time um i i you like looking back looking back it's usually somewhere between 10 to 12 months uh that they go with uh after an announcement but uh yeah i'm i reckon i reckon it'll be may 30. 23. Because they, I've also noticed they really like to take it as the last day of the month that they intend to release in, rather than like halfway through or whatever. I, I could be wrong about that, I could be misremembering, but I'm pretty sure it was usually like the end of the month and then they end up doing it like the Tuesday before it or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll be surprised if it's February or March. End of, like, end of February would probably be the absolute earliest. Like, a year to the day. Oh, yeah. A year to the, the, the Tuesday um, after ZM. It'll be a long patch, but it won't be the longest. And they're planning on introducing some pretty funky stuff for, um, 95. Uh, so that should keep, like, a decent chunk of the player base entertained. Um. Hmm. When is Magician coming along? Make it disappear. Surprise! It's been all the Shadowlands working the new X pack, and we're getting it in November. Ugh. Yeah. Uh. Look. I don't know. I mean, November would make sense because it'd make it two years, bang on, since we had Shadowlands. But I just don't see it happening that quickly. Not with all the delays and everything that they've had with Shadowlands. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. If it is ready. Mm. I honestly... I would rather them take the time to get it right. Especially going through... Um, they will want to get it out before the end of... Like, it'll absolutely be prior to 30 June. 100%. Because that's, like, if they get the regulatory approval for Microsoft that's when that'll go through. And they're not gonna want to start that relationship by releasing a massive X-Pack like that. They'll want to have that kind of calming down by the time that crosses over so that all the development teams have time to sit down with Microsoft Teams and kind of have the, oh, it's the arena one. I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Um, you know, when there's a handover, one of the first, well, when there's like a, an acquisition like that, one of the first things that happens is that the buying company sends equivalent staff to sit down with the bought company to learn about their processes, to learn what their day-to-day -day jobs are, how they operate, and so that they can start figuring out how to optimize, right? And they're not going to want to do that. People, like, the Blizzard devs are absolutely not going to want Microsoft up their asses while they're sitting there frantically patching launch month crap like <laughs> they're not they're just they're not gonna want that um they'll want to have had it out for a few months so that things have calmed down a bit um and so they can focus their energy on providing microsoft with the information that they need um so yeah if it if it gets regulatory approval um yeah they'll definitely want the expansion to be out prior to the end of june uh, D3 Alpha was fun. I can imagine. Inside of Blizz HQ, randomly got a message from me. I feel wanted a beta invite. Nice. 
Requires everyone is ready to move on from as fast as humanly possible. I need them to get this right. Everyone does. They need to get it right. If they don't, it's gonna, like... If they have two expansions that people are shitty with in a row, what are the investors gonna say? Like, they need to get this right, or they're gonna lose an entire department of the company. It's as simple as that. Uh, I just wouldn't exactly be surprised if basically Roto Shadowlands spent more manpower working on the new X pack. I think it would be a lot more difficult than you might think to be able to do that. Honestly. I, I genuinely do. Considering uh, just now moving between the two, team 12 an hour to 20 an hour, you should be onto something. I do feel that the new expect really hope it's a good one, but they want something really good for WoW at this point. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they want something good for them, good for WoW at every point, because that's how they justify, you know, their continued existence as a development team. But, um, yeah, I, I really, I don't think that they just wrote Shadowlands off, because the thing is, if you write off an expansion like this, everyone like the unanimous decision is it's crap how many people do you think are actually going to come back to give them another chance for a new x back it's just not going to happen like <laughs> very few people especially now with just how many big name games are coming out they're not necessarily i'm not talking wow killers or, or anything that's designed to take wow's place but just options in general as games you can play with your friends like even if you're not playing directly with them, like playing at the same time as your friends, there are so many options now. They can't afford to just sit back and allow people to quit while they work on the next X pack. It's just, it's not really uh, feasible. I don't think it is, but hey, we'll see. See, just as we're talking about this, I'll just gently remind everyone that's here, especially if you're lurking and think about jumping into conversation or whatever. Um, this is a spoiler-free channel, so I know that there's been leaks, but we're not we don't talk about them here. Um, simply because leaks can either go two ways. Leaks can either be wrong, in which case it doesn't matter, and why are we talking about it anyway? Or they could be correct, in which case they are spoilers. Um, so I am aware that there has been leaks. I'm aware of what the leaks say. Um, but for respecting of everyone else who's here and maybe who hasn't looked into it and all that kind of stuff, um, we, we don't talk about that. We we'll talk about Bruno. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just as a heads up, um, we are, I'm more than happy for you to jump into the conversation. Obviously, that's what we're here for, is chats and fun times. Uh, but that particular detail is, uh, is off limits. I appreciate your cooperation. Um, uh, but yeah, the QA thing, what I, I reckon has happened, um, cause it was, it's been a couple of years since they laid off most of their QA team, right? And there was the big kerfuffle, everyone was pissed, um, but they laid off most of the team and I think what they did then is they outsourced it. Everyone was like, what are you going to do without a QA team? And we're all like, you know, you can have people beta test and PTR and all that kind of stuff, but we're not professional testers. We're not going to find everything. Clearly what happened here is that they laid off their internal QA teams and outsourced. Because if you actually read the articles about all this stuff that's been out there, it's that the staff who were on the 12 an hour were temps. Temps come from recruiting agencies usually, or, or temp agencies. I've been a temp before, that was my job for, for a little while there. Uh, I was a temp and I was sent to places to be a receptionist. Um, and that's that's what I did. Um, I receptioned for a bunch of different companies in a bunch of different places. Um, so beta testers and, and QA people can be temped out. They have a set of skills, it applies to most video games, and they will send them out to Blizzard or they will send them out to Riot, or they will send them out to um, Square Enix, or they'll send them out to, like, you know what I mean? They'll send them to these different places in order to do QA for them, but it's a contract. You're there for a set amount of time, and then you go. Um, there are some benefits to this. If you cycle through and you've only ever got a beta tester for three months or so, it means that you're constantly getting fresh eyes on your product, constantly getting fresh eyes, and so you can see 
Like, they, you know, one person may find bug X, but another person will find bug Y. And if this was a perma- if, if the person who found bug X was a permanent employee, maybe you'd never find bug Y, because you never get that cycle through. So there is that kind of a benefit to it. But also, that's a really low pay. And so they would have been saving money, because it's not people who are um, experienced with their product, i.e. World of Warcraft, for example, or whatever it happens to be. Uh, or Blizzard's reporting systems. You know, maybe it, they've got a, a, a home-built, designed uh, bug reporting system, and so every time they get new people in, they have to train them and everything, or, or whatever. I'm not sure. I, I don't have inside information on that. So what they're essentially doing is they're hiring a batch of temps on as permanent employees. So they've been trying this temp thing, what I'm assuming, what I'm thinking, what I am deducing from the information that I have gathered from random ass articles, is that they got rid of their QA team to save some money. They brought on temps because they were cheaper. And a couple of years later, they're realizing that that's not quite working for them. And so they're hiring people back on permanent rates. They, they trialed it for a couple of years, didn't work. And so they're reverting back to their old system, which as much as it hella goddamn sucks for the people who lost their jobs back then, it is what companies do. They trial new systems. And if they don't work, they go back. It's, it sucks, as I said, it's bull, it sucks, but they have to, it's, it's constant innovation, it's trying new things, it's, it's testing out new methods of doing things to see if it will work better, more efficiently, if it'll make them more money. It's a business with shareholders and they have to, they are legally obligated to make as much money as possible. So that's fun. But yeah, so I think, I reckon that's probably what's happened. Um, but look, we'll none, we we will never we'll likely never know. <laughs> we'll likely never know. The only people who will know for sure uh, are the people who are working in those teams and who are making those decisions. Because um, there's no need for them to tell any of us. So here you go. Uh, the news, I guess we'll know more in eight days. We will! Isn't it exciting? So exciting. Uh, the announcement is at 3 a.m. for me. <laughs> guess who's not goddamn sleeping that night? Yeah, I'm, uh. It'll be fine. These prog bar have been tapping into a I've landed on that rock once. It hurts. No uh, I think it's concerning to see from the expert it's ever expect since Wrath has gone down. Navarak, the um, Treya. You would it's need to see totally fine to start. I'd like to see the average age of Wazz's Rebels. This is going going up, not necessarily being replaced by younger folk. Yeah, it is an old game. Like, it's an old game. Either way, um, I will enjoy every moment of it. Rockmora! You know, you know, as a reference. Uh, to one of the new, I think it's Encanto? There's a song, something about we don't talk about Bruno, I don't know. It was, I tried to meme and clearly I failed, but it's fine. Hmm. Two mounts, indeed. I loved being a temp. It's below convenience store pay. Um, yeah, but that never necessarily said that the temps that they had were American. Considering that they had to do everything for most of those two years, everything's been off-site as well, working from home. It's a good chance that they had people log into an online portal from anywhere across the world and test stuff. And 12 US dollars an hour is not bad in some places. Not bad at all. Indeed, I finished the work before they thought I would not Temporary experiences know what I'm worth. Which is why people are making this no quarter of the money. Getting paid for them, yeah, of course. Interesting training people doing professionally working problems. Next, yeah. Many times, which is when I was younger, I'd be eager to prove myself. Multiple times, I need to take my time, which is wearing myself out of a job. Correct. Correct. And not only that, but if you work your absolute ass off to get everything done as quickly as you possibly can, right from the word go, um, then if you ever slow down for any reason, be punished for it but you'll never get a you'll never get a raise why on earth would they promote you when you're already doing all that extra work at your current rate there's no point 
don't ever, 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 ever take on higher duties without getting the allowance. Ever. Like, don't, not even for a day. Don't even just, yeah, okay, I can do it for, for, the, for this day. No, no, no. No, no. Not without pay. Because the moment that they know they can ask and they can guilt or begrudge you into doing it, then they will continue to do so and you'll never get that promotion, you'll never get that raise. Because why, why should they? If you'll do the work cheap, why should they pay you more? Again, business. In some places, they are legally obligated to make as much money as possible. If it's a big company, especially with like shareholders and stuff, that's, that's literally what that applies to. Because they are legally obligated to make the shareholders a profit. Uh, if they can. If at all possible. Trig, Kat, Ali, uh, and Joe. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Uh, people get confused when they come to companies. Expect the company to treat them like families regardless of the situation. As you said, when it comes down to it, money and longevity, the company is the only focus. Correct. Companies are not people. Companies do not have feelings, emotions, personalities. The social media team has a voice document to stick to. But companies do not give a flying anything at all. They don't care about you. They don't. Brands can earn your loyalty, absolutely, by giving you a good product, providing you with good customer service when it's required, all that kind of, you can, brand loyalty is fine, but don't stick with it if it all of a sudden goes splat. Like it's not, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. You've got to put yourself first because they definitely will. They'll put themselves first. They're never going to put you first. No matter how much they say the customer is our most important. No, it's not. Your customer's money is the most important part. <clears throat> it's, it's one thing that like always sort of, you know, oh, I can't believe, you know, they, they, they don't care about the players and blah, blah, blah. No, they, you're right. They don't. None of them do. Not a single company cares about the players. Every company cares about the players' money. They care about retaining you as a customer. That's it. But they can't please every customer either. So what, they, what are they going to do? They're going to please as many customers as possible. Just because there's a vocal group of people does not mean you are the majority of player type. Majority of WoW players log in once a week or a fortnight. A couple of hours here or there. They are the people who are paying the bills. I, I, like, just through streaming, what am I, 24 hours a week? 24 times 4. Uh, 96. What's our... Is it 18.99 Australian? Nineteen ninety nine, maybe. I pay six monthly, so I'm not sure. Nineteen ninety five. So nineteen ninety five divided by ninety six. Um, I pay twenty point eight cents per hour that I play WoW, and that is just assuming stream time. Just assuming stream time. So ignoring the fact that I log in outside of stream and do stuff and whatnot. If I'm just counting stream time, I pay 20.8 cents. 21 cents an hour. I am not making them money. They are not making money from me. I do not buy anything. I, I don't purchase services. I don't transfer things. I don't, like, I've never bought a WoW token. I'm not, I am not, they're not making money off me. They're, they're not making money off me. Pay attention, the people who log in once a week or once every two weeks or maybe just a couple times a week and play for a couple of hours, they are the people who are making Blizzard money because they are using less of the service than they are paying for. They are subsidizing our subscriptions. So, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think they're going to cater to? The dirty, filthy casuals. I mean, I am a casual player, absolutely. We've got a sound effect to prove it. Um, but I don't play casual hours. There's Mother there's a big difference. Arise! If they complete this summoning, our passage to Dark Rule will be yes. blocked. She comes. Which you for? Isn't that oh yeah? It, in terms of a video game, that absolutely is. There is no more time. 
perspective it's exploitative right however I must leave you a lot of these Yet countries who sell their labor overseas to places like the US <laughs> it's it's likely one of the best paying jobs that they can get in their area which is not good it's not right it's not okay but it's the reality the never chose you, and so if we like that's when you know you get to the thing like you know, pull jobs off those countries and pull jobs back here and all that kind of stuff. You're damaging their their ability to have a decent life as well. So it's all it's so fucking complicated. I I don't really have. I I see all the different sides to it. I don't really have an opinion on what's right or wrong because it's all like everyone involved in the transaction benefits in some way. Now there are other families. Everyone does. Otherwise they wouldn't be involved in it. Like it's just yeah. it's it's a sticky, sticky, sticky situation. Circumstances. It's not it's not a good situation, but um yeah, realistically it is what it is, and there are reasons for it. Baby do da 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 So many people please overworking less in the very hardest ways. Yep. Yeah. Uh I have to. I have to. Burnout is a. Uh... Oh, I didn't kill Ragul. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. Um. Let's. We're gonna go back in. <laughs> uh, some companies like mine use term as a screening process almost in the end. Though it wasn't the initial intent. Often perform part time roles near the end of their contracts. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of places that do that as well. Um. But there are definitely companies out there that when when it's like a one off job, especially something like QA. Because you don't constantly need QA services either. You need QA services when something's done and when it's ready to be released, but you want to make sure it's ready to be released. And so if you've got full-time QA testers, you've got to you've got to make sure that you're gonna have constant work for them because you're paying them regardless. Unless they're casuals, in which case. My scouts report flocks of giant diseased um, bats overtaking so them in the skies around the fiery mountain. See if you can find out where they're it's coming back. from. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I've, uh, I've also worked in companies where they use temp roles as, uh, basically the interview process. Um, there was one temp role that I had that I was really keen to turn into a permanent role because I was tired of temping, I wanted leave, I wanted all that kind of stuff, right? I wanted permanent benefits. And so I asked, like, you know, would you would you hire me? Like, I, I you know, are you considering bringing extra staff on or is this, is this it? Um, and they were like, look, we are looking at bringing extra staff on, but we don't want to bring you on because you're too good at the job and we feel like you'd get bored here and you'd want to move on after six months or so. And I'm like, you have cleared the sky little do they know, at once. the only the times I've had short jobs no is because my life circumstances have changed and I've moved or the business has changed and I've been like removed from, do you know what I mean? Like they've, they've downsized or whatever. Like. I am I'm a loyal as hell employee, and I always have been. Um, so if I was going to move up, it would be within the company, not like, you know, and it would take me a while to do so. Um, but they decided, nope, they didn't want me. So we, at, the, at the point, they had about five temps, and I was one of them, and they hired the other four temps. Um, and it was for a particular contract because they were providing reception. So it's a bit complicated. You had the company who had, had a, an industry that they worked in and they had the whole building for their staff and then they had reception, but they outsourced reception to a building management company. So that building management company, they let the, the business do their stuff in their own industry and then this company took care of the building. Any maintenance requests, we took care of security, we did uh, reception work, we did all that kind of stuff. Anything that was building related, we took care of that and they just did their own stuff inside the building. Yep. And then that building management company hired me from a temp agency. 
three different com yeah you get it cool um so they they this this building management company with there were five temps they hired the other four they hired the other four permanent and i was i was left to my contract was left to expire and i went and found something else with, with the assistance of the temp agency two months later the building management company lost the contract for the buildings and those four that were hired lost their jobs So, <laughs> blessing in disguise, the fact that they didn't want to hire me because I was too good was, like, absolutely a blessing because, good lord, that would have sucked. Trying to get back on the temp agency's books and get them to find me something else, etc, etc. So, yeah, I was, I was super thankful when I realized that all that happened. Um, but, of course, I feel horrible for the four because they were, like, they were my colleagues and they were awesome, awesome, awesome people. Um, the, the manager who managed, like, the account manager for, for the buildings. Ooh. <laughs> they were not a very nice person. Um, they were... I don't know how you manage to... I don't know how you can micromanage somebody while only seeing them for 20 minutes a week when you, you know, go around to all the buildings and visit all the receptionists. So I only saw them 20 minutes a week, and yet somehow they managed to micromanage me entirely. I don't know how, but look, magic, I guess. But yeah, so I was I was quite thankful for that. But yeah, temping can be, yeah. Temping's a, an interesting experience. Uh, one of the people I met while I was working as a temp, um, she had been working as a temp for uh, 50 years or something. Like, it was some exorbitant amount of- and she was a PA. She was a PA, and so she worked- but her- the contracts that she'd do were like two to three years here, four to five years there. Um, because, uh, if you've worked with C-level executives before, you'll know that they don't stay in one place very long. You don't have a CEO- unless they're the founder of the company, you don't tend to have a CEO that sticks around for 20 years. Um, you tend to have CEOs that cycle through every like five, six years, something like that. And so PAs would work on a contract basis and they'd be signed on the, like if the CEO, if the CEO has a three-year contract, the PA will be on a, a three-year contract as well. And they'll work together for the entire period. And then when the CEO moves on, the PA will as well. Sometimes the CEO will like the PA enough to take them with them. Um, but that's why it's designed that way. So they can take plan. them with them. But yeah, she'd been she'd been temping for a ridiculous amount of time. But she had in in those in that time she'd had one day that she didn't have an active contract, one singular day, and it's because they took they were you know trying to work out a kink in one of the like she had a job lined up, but she just hadn't been sent the uh, the contract yet because there was a, a clause that the the, the C level executive was trying to fix up. So yeah, like it's. There are, there are those sides of it, but then, yeah, temping can also be incredibly, like, disorienting. You're working at a different place every couple of weeks and, and all that kind of stuff. It's, uh, can make it difficult to climb when you're constantly learning a new place's way of working. I know, Mega Chins, I've got to get Company is always cash. Yep, absolutely. To the company, you are replaceable, 100%. 100%. Even as an employee, you're replaceable. Your your salary, how much you get paid, is not how much you are worth. How much you are paid by a company is how much you would cost to be replaced. That is how your salary is determined. The longer you work there, the more valuable you are because the more time it will take to train a new person up to your level in terms of company knowledge and culture fit and etc 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 it's not how much you're worth or how much you know it's how hard you are to replace to engage with the legion can you so once you have very specific company training gun for that raise go for it honey you've earned it you've earned it you are no longer as replaceable and you should be paid to match the mountain. This is hour seems pretty good. Here. Oh, it's damn good. <laughs> like, why do you think I don't buy video games? Like, I I, I pay for WoW. I, I've not paid for WoW with a, a WoW token before. I pay for WoW. 
but it's so worth it. Like, so people say, you know, oh, I can't, I can't justify the sub for WoW. It's like, well, what, you know, at the moment, whatever you play, like, how much are you spending per month on video games? If you're, if you're buying the new game every couple of weeks, like the big new this title that comes out every couple of weeks, or month or so, are you paying $89.99 a month for the newest hot, like the hot new thing? I have just the thing for you. Hi, Mountain Elderhorn. Oh my god! <laughs> Six fifty five, baby. Oh, my goodness. catch up on chat shall I? Um, this month I've had my most poor dollars to playtime ratio nothing like having my computer die three days yeah yeah I feel that um this is a period of course that's some cooldown casuals and people who basically only play on raid night correct correct some of my health insurance customers they represent a positive company for never claiming but pay their premiums or get more work put into them to stay yep at the same time oh no oh no it's still there. Something has spooked one of the brutal so permanent QA people as we test change people. They go, oh, nice. Chaos is the last thing they get that excuse as no. Ah, uh, what excuse, sorry. Before you get Your job stopped. suffering from success, yeah. Uh, oh, like you, you're too good. I understand because, like, if you've got someone who's there who you hire and they're overqualified and they're there for six months and then they get a promotion, even if it's within the same company. That still means that six months later they're gonna have to spend the money recruiting, training, etc. It can cost anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars to hire and train a new staff member. So if they think you're only gonna be there for six months, why the fuck would they spend that on you? When they're gonna have to spend that exact same amount of money six months down the track. I get it. It's actually a valid argument. It's shit to hear it. It it sucks to hear it, but it's absolutely valid. From the company's perspective, 100 percent valid. Um It would never be fatal. I have interviews of people who had 10 jobs in a five year history, people who had upper management roles in the industry. So, no two risk of short term. Yeah, history isn't there. That's just crap. Yeah, no terms are entitled to the same leave and benefits as permanent staff. Um, yeah, I didn't because I was hired as a casual. Like, as a temp, you're casual. You submit a timesheet with your start and finish times and your lunch break, and you get paid for what you work. Um, the job, at least the jobs I had, maybe you can get a temporary permanent staff member if that makes sense temporary permanent is a bit of an oxymoron but it's fine um whereas all of the jobs that i was placed in it was as a casual it was a temp casual role um so yeah it very much depends on industry and it very much depends on the actual company hiring as well some companies will not hire temps on a permanent level and give them leave and all that kind of stuff whereas others will especially if it's a long-term temp contract with mine it was literally every Friday I was finding out whether or not I had a job next week that because it was very much temporary I was there to fill a gap there was someone who was on medical leave they didn't know when they were returning and I was there to fill a gap therefore I didn't know if I, like they they didn't know if they needed me next week because maybe their regular employee would be coming back so because it's casual no benefits when I asked about becoming permanent it was because the medical leave employee decided to step down completely and leave the company and that was when I was like, hey, so am I replacing them? And they said, no. But yeah, it's it's very different depending on the circumstance. Yes. Curious what you're farming in Legion. The mount that I just got. <laughs> Paragon one. Hey, Ven, how you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, I'm just catching up on chat at the moment. I am four minutes behind, but I'm catching quickly. Uh, as Mizzou said, even permanent full-time roles, it is essentially rolling for week contracts. Yeah, look. <laughs> Shiba, are you angry? Are you angry? One, do you want to roll? So it's a scam. It's in a few bosses be quite dangerous. Never left just because, of course, of course. Thank you. Like your bedroom lights. Um, yeah, they are nano leaf panels. They're really awesome. Super awesome. 
Um, remember you said we place last one. It's just, just that reason. Yeah, exhausting going through the process over and over. Yeah. Yeah, maybe change show me. It's 49. Well done. Almost there. Um, fear here is a legal thing. Company cannot have any staff that don't get leave and benefits, even if they're doing one day as a one off. Uh, sure, that's fine. But, um, that's not the way it works here. So, whatever. Like, it's, <laughs> it just, it, it doesn't work like that here. Um, most places in the world, I'd imagine it doesn't work like that. Uh, enjoy, Kaz. Enjoy. You're kidding, of course. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, no. Uh, next one on the list is uh, Unshackle Paragon. So that's where I'm heading now. I don't think I'm actually going to make it to a new um, Paragon bar. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, that's the way you don't get hired by anyone else ever again. Like, <laughs> especially if you're trying to work within the same industry. God, people talk, and you can't you can't pull that shit. Hey, like, good lord. Um, alrighty. Uh, let's go with. I wanted, uh, what I wanted. Uh, something adverts happened, Lamau. Uh, yeah, that'll happen. Um, it's probably the fact that they're called nano leaf panels. That's all. Should be telling. That's okay. How can I be of help? Hmm. Uh, yeah, we've got a similar thing in the what arts industry you? where they are guaranteed leave, but it's not a set amount of days. It's they get leave pro rata. So if they work a week, they get a week's worth of annual leave hours as though they were a full time employee. Um, that's part of like the LPA, which is the Live Performance Award. Um, so, but what happens is they can't they can't take leave because I mean you know if they're unwell or whatever yeah sure but they they un they're not approved for leave ever because they have a, a show to perform they have rehearsal to do it to attend and all that kind of stuff. So what ends up happening every single contract we have they get paid their weekly amount while they're rehearsing, while they're performing, and then at the end they get a lump sum of all of their leave entitlements paid out. They can never take the leave. It's like annual leave, again, when sick leave is different. Returned, but they can't take the leave, they get it paid out as a lump sum at the end. Will be washed away. Uh, every time. So they, they definitely, they earn it, but it's proportional to the length of their contract. It's not a set 28 days, because that's ridiculous. Um, that's entirely... Like, that's a lot. And that's a lot for a company to take on. That kind of thing would absolutely encourage companies. Like, if they have to pay out 28 days of leave, why would you hire someone for less than a few months? Like, it's just, it's too expensive. It's prohibitive. That's a prohibitive oh, cost for, fun. like, a small business. Miko, congratulations. You've been gifted a sub by Doop. Thank you so much for the gifted sub, Doop. Much appreciated. So generous of you. So generous. Uh, um, you can stop saying my name at the start of every sentence. It, it does come across as a little bit condescending. Um, like you're trying to, like, no, no, fear. This is what it, like, I, I know. Like, I get it. I'm not an idiot. But, um, yeah. Uh, uh, specifically to make short-term hires unappealing. Yeah, well, like, there are some companies that need that flexibility, though. Like... <laughs> What, what are you going to do? Like, if you've got X amount of staff members and then busy season happens, but busy season is this big and you need to bring on two or three extra staff so that your existing staff don't burn the hell out, you need those extra workers, but it's only for three weeks and that's it. Done. Finished. You can't, like, you can't afford to bring on three extra staff members to even out the load for three weeks because then you have to pay them all out 28 days leave. So you're left 
with your regular staff who get burnt out to hell and they hate their job because they're overworked and they don't want to be there and morale sucks. You're much better off bringing in the Christmas casuals for that short amount of time. It's better, healthier for the employees and for the business in general. Like, <laughs> like that's not being able to do that is crap. As long as everyone agrees to the terms to begin with, obviously there are protections. Like, you know, the casual staff here in Australia get paid 25% more. Their minimum wage is 25% higher than the minimum wage of a permanent employee. The 25% extra is designed to be put aside in case they need to take a day off for sick leave or take a holiday or whatever it happens to be that a permanent staff member would have covered by sick leave or annual leave, etc. They get paid that extra money to make up for the fact. So overall, in the total of a year, they're earning, if they're doing the same hours, they're earning roughly the same amount of money. But they can do it for this much time if they need to. I like that system a lot better than a mandatory 28 days leave personally. I think it just makes more sense for more, it, it's more flexible for different types of businesses. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Um, and clearly someone where you live thought it was a, well, a bunch of someone's thought it was a much better idea to operate that way. And that's totally fine. But I just don't think it'd work in so many small business situations. It just kind of stifles anyone who, who's operating on like a razor thin budget trying to get their business off the ground, you know? But that's just me. <laughs> yeah, so sure every staff involving a six-month hire. She doesn't remember being savage to do overtime and didn't have to ask the temps, yeah. She's a strict because the company's taking advantage of everlasting temp staff. Yeah, there's look. Technically I'm a temp. Just not through an agency. Um well I'm I'm contract staff, right? So there's there is a difference between it's like a temporary staff member that's been hired through an agency for a very short period of time and then someone who's on a limited contract. Um, my contract gets has been extended year after year so far, but come December 31st this year, the company I work for may say, we don't need you, to, we don't need you anymore. We're gonna let your contract complete and then we're not gonna renew it next year. And that's entirely up to them. And I signed on and agreed to that. So it's like, If, if you're in a, obviously you're in a place where like temporary staff have been abused and companies have been arsehats and all that kind of stuff, which is not good at all in the slightest. I just, I feel like there are so much better ways to do it. Like, I mean, I, I distinctly remember, you know, working in places that I was working pretty much full time. And then we'd get the Christmas casuals who came in and, and pretty much all of them would be uh, high school students who don't, they can't have a job during the year and stuff because they're, they're busy studying and, and working at their schooling and all that kind of stuff. But then over the summer break, because we have summer and Christmas, um, it's, you know, uh, December, January, February is our summer here in Australia. And so over the summer, they would get this temp job for the Christmas rush. They'd get trained up super quick and then they'd help with all the retail rush that happens with Christmas. And they'd earn a bucket load of money and then they'd leave. The job would be finished, they'd go back to school, and that's that. And sometimes, if they did really, really well, the company would reach out to them next Christmas and say, hey, do you want to come back and do another stint as a Christmas casual? Because we really enjoyed having you here last time, and obviously it means they don't have to train them again. But they get their bucket load of money, no leave, no entitlements, nothing, but 25% more than a permanent employee, and then they go. And it works so well for all the companies involved and for the people who are doing it and all that kind of stuff. And then there are also mums, like stay-at-home mums and stuff, who do the same thing. Because if their kids are working, they might as well go and get a Christmas casual job as well. And then, you know, the whole family goes off to work and they all come home and everything's, everything's golden. Like... But yeah, uh... I don't know, it's... It's interesting to see the ways that different companies handle similar problems. I'm going to guess that in Australia we haven't really had much abuse of temporary staff in that particular vein. I'm sure we probably have in some way or another, you know, dodgy employment contracts and stuff like that. It happens everywhere, but not enough of that specific type of abuse 
that it's a legal requirement. Um, instead, we just pay temps extra. Even if they only work one day, they don't get they they don't get twenty eight days of leave. They get twenty five percent more money than anyone else working that day, unless there are other casuals, obviously. <laughs> and it works out quite well. You just you got to be good with your money, though. That's the problem. Um, you've actually got to set aside that extra 25% and, and know that this isn't money for spending, this is money for covering your ass, this is your emergency fund, etc. Uh, but, you know. It's really interesting though. Uh, I mean, the moment I'm taking the of so Liberal. Well then you're not you're not contract staff though. You're you're on a higher duties contract, but you still have your permanent employment to fall back on if if the contract falls through or ends or whatever. Um it, it operates a little bit differently. With me, if my contract ends, that's it. I don't have a job. <laughs> Done. Finito. Um fruit picking comes to mind. Yeah, the fruit picking, yeah, so you have backpackers that go all across Australia. Um, and they, they, they stop off at different farms and they work on the farm, often in exchange for room and board and stuff like that. Um, but there was a whole lot of shenanigans with that and so they have to, like, there are, there are contracts now, they have to be paid and there's a whole reporting agency and stuff. Um, because people were being abused, they were being given room and board and, and food and stuff, but it wasn't enough food, it wasn't nutritious food, the places that they were staying was crap, um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and so, like, you know, it wasn't livable conditions and, and they were working massively long hours which wouldn't, weren't enough, like, the, it wasn't enough to be paid. Um, like, the, the rooms weren't quality enough that it would, could be considered payment and all this kind of stuff. Um, so I'm pretty sure they've got a whole lot of laws and stuff. I mean, it's still abused, especially considering that a lot of backpackers don't educate themselves on the laws of the places that they're travelling in terms of workers' rights and stuff like that. Um, but... Yeah, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff around that, but it's, uh, hmm, look, humans can be fairly shit, and I really wish people would stop trying to find goddamn loopholes to abuse, because goddamn, just treat your fellow human with respect, fuck, <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> I was gonna say that, limited experience, temp work in Brisbane, at least mostly some call center work, backroom admin work and fruit picking, yeah, biggest problem with the regulations, people who take some comments count as new employments have a fresh 28 days oh god <sighs> sounds like there are some some little holes in the law that are just not great um but they're not big enough to cause issues enough that people are yelling and screaming about to having them changed you know does that does that make sense like the issues are there but they're not affecting anyone badly enough that they're campaigning for change I have a German brother for situations like that. Mum sort of adopted him from a farm stay. Ah. Um, hello, shapeless. I'm not sure what you're responding to, but hi. Um, you two invent replicators of Star Trek style post scarcity economy. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Hello, Luz. Um, I better tell us if it's true or not. But there was also temporary and stuff like traffic control. As long as they did the compliance course, etc. I know there was a lot of construction types when I worked reception. CBD backpackers. Um, uh, usually not temps, usually casuals. They'd go on, so um, I used to work in traffic control, which is why Desir is mentioning, maybe I'd know. Um, traffic control uh, is very casual and traffic controllers would hop from company to company to company to company. Like they just, they bounced around wherever, wherever, like whichever traffic control company had the biggest, most lucrative contracts, they'd all jump ship to that place. Uh, and then none of them would get any other work because there were too many of them. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they just, it's its less temp work, more more just casual employment. So they would get jobs some days, so like some nights or days they'd get a job and then others they wouldn't because there just wasn't enough people doing road work. They didn't need, there wasn't as great a need and so people weren't on the road. Um, it, yeah, just that simple. Uh, casual! All good cookie. I figured it wasn't, but that's why I wanted to like highlight because it sometimes it's a little bit tricky with when it comes to, to text. Like you can't, I can't tell tone 
there's there's no way that I can deduct like how you're speaking to me or any like you can tell how I'm talking to you because you're listening to me but all I am all I can see is a, a light green name and a bunch of white text so uh, the emoji occasional emoji helps but uh, <laughs> or emote or whatever you want to call them um, but yeah so that's why I thought I'd like just raise it because it's kind of um, I know, I know that when, like, if my mum, for example, is asking me lots of prying questions about my life and how about, what is this and how's this going and what's this happening and what about that thing and, and kind of almost feels like gossipy sticking her nose into places sort of thing. It'd be like, mum, stop asking. Mum, yes, I've answered that already. Mum, and do you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of, and so that's how it was coming across to me. So I thought I'd let you know, but I'm not offended. I'm not upset. There's no, I'm not pissed off or anything like that. Um, just thought I'd make the observation aloud in case it hadn't, and in case you hadn't noticed. But yeah, it was, uh, yep. They were treating each other with respect. Yes, wouldn't that be lovely? I agree. Yes, please. Sorry, Shapeless. My brain is, um, we have an emote for my brain. Is, is Fiamma brain. Is Fiamma brain, isn't it? There you go. Colander on head. Um, yep. <laughs> Mostly, so I call my brain a colander. Yeah, colander is one of those metal dishes that you use to drain pasta. It's got the holes in it. Pull the pasta in it, water comes out, pasta stays in. Brilliant, that's what you want. Um, but that's my brain retains memories and knowledge like it's water in a colander. So I have colander. So when I'm, especially when I'm having like seven conversations at once, occasionally I'm like, what is that in response to? <laughs> so my apologies, but yes, absolutely. Respect for one another. You don't have to like each other. You don't have to like somebody, but you can respect them. You can respect their decisions and know that they are their decisions. And if you don't want to associate with that, you don't like that, you can separate, you can piss off and just, yeah, be civil. Uh, and if they're not civil back, that's their problem. Fade, Miko and Kat, congratulations on your bonus shits. Oh, I'm just driver control. After a while, horrible conditions. Oof. You know, we took we took damn good care of our traffic controllers. Um, we so when I was saying people would like bounce between all the different companies, it would be really funny because you'd look at somebody's work history and they'd bounce, 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 got to our company and stayed there for literally years. It was like, and every single one of the resumes that we had of people who worked with, they all looked like that. It was all bounce, 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 home stop usually when they left our business it was because they were leaving the industry and that that like that's what you want you want that reputation for tr and every any time someone from a particular company came to us and got a job with us guarantee you almost exactly to the day one month later seven or eight of their mates from that old company would also apply all on the same day like it's uh, rolling us to late normal location. Days on and off, yeah. Yeah. Bonk, yeah. Oh my god. I managed PPE, and the number of times. Oh, I need a new night wand. Were you playing lightsabers? Definitely not. Bullshit. <laughs> One of them tried to tell me that a ute ran over it. I'm like, if a ute ran over it, it'd be in shattered, in pieces. You wouldn't have a night one to give back to me. This one is cracked, specifically like this, in one section of the... <sighs> we spent so much money on those damn things. So much money. On, on uh, traffic cones as well. Up until the point we got the ones that were like 40 kilos each. They stopped disappearing after that. You sure a similar brain? That explains it. I've only got half of it at the moment. Can can I? No, I'm joking. <laughs> oh dear. Well, welcome on in, Shape. I hope you have a fantastic time with us. Um, family shared brain cell. Uh huh. Uh huh. Return of the one brain cell. Uh, treat others as you would have them treat you. Correct. I like she would don't respect their dislike of olives. More olives for us. Let's say there's. Those, are, those things are not cheap. We supplied all of our PPE to all of our workers and those things were not cheap. Not cheap. Such an Aussie word. That and Numpty. What do you call, like, do you actually refer to them as utility vehicles every damn time? Like, people from not Australia? Like, is that actually what, 
Like, like honestly, this is a genuine question. I am incredulous because that's so many syllables, but like, <laughs> why not? But yeah, numpty is one of my favorite words. I love it so. It's like, it's an insult, but like loving at the same time somehow, it's great. I like it. I'm very much a numpty. Most people here, I would assume, are numpties. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of what we attract. It's our vibe. Um, they call them trucks. But it's not a truck. Trucks are big. Yeah, I mean, a truck is a truck. Yeah, but how do you differentiate between, like, a proper truck truck and a ute? Like... <laughs> Anyone watching this clip is be like, what the hell is she doing? Ah, <laughs> oh, don't try telling them that. They're trucks. Context of that is a van. What? But a van is... No! What? <laughs> yeah, no, they just... Pick up trucks are still trucks though. <sighs> oh. I, okay, to be, to for clarification, I don't have a driver's license. I don't drive, I don't car, I don't anything. But I managed a fleet of 50 utes. Um, dual cab, single cab, like all the fun stuff. Um, I, I manage that fleet, but I, I don't know, I don't need to know how to drive or know how to check the oil to, to manage a fleet, right? Um, and I didn't, because I, I did that for like four years, I managed the fleet. So, um, it just... Ute. Truck. Ute. Because we had, we had 50 utes, and then towards the end of my, towards the end of my four years, we were looking at getting a truck. And the truck was about the size of four utes, like two back to back and then stacked up as well. Like it was a chonky boy, a chonky boy. And it was designed for massive, big highway jobs uh, for safety, firstly, and carrying a ton more traffic cones. Like I'm talking seven times as many cones, all this kind of stuff. Um, it was kind of cool. The idea was that um, like you'd be able to have a person on either side of the truck and there was like a, a pole they could hold onto and strap themselves to and they'd grab a cone and then lay it down and then grab a cone and then let, lean over the edge of the truck and lay it down as the truck was going along at a very specific speed that there was like a button on the dash to make it go along. It, like cruise control, but you didn't have to get there first. The button made it go there and then it went that fast. And so if they got the rhythm right, the cones would be placed exactly where they needed to per regular, because cones have to be a certain distance apart um, when you're doing road work and stuff. And it, it, so that's a truck. That's a truck. The utes in comparison were nothing. Like, <laughs> so calling them the same thing just breaks my brain. Breaks my brain. A truck and a truck. Yeah, look. Look. Um, it's like soda. No, so soda's fine. Like, that's okay. But like, calling seven do it's like how we call things chips. I imagine that would, because like, you know, dry piece of potato that's got flavoring sprinkled on it and snaps when you, like makes a crunch sound, like a snap sound when you break it, is a chip. A squishy, slightly squishy, hot, like rectangular log of potato, also a chip. <laughs> like, those are two entirely different items. Very, I mean, they're both made of potato, but very, very different products. Both chips. Chips. Hot chips. That's how to tell the difference. But you know what I mean? So it's like these two massively different things called the same thing. Why? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's a different fact. Vans are very different. Call them, is it... Backies or Bakis? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. We're meaning container in one of the local languages. That works. That makes sense. Your trucks? No, 50 utes. <laughs> I just wonder why they were called that. They go. Okay, I'm just talking American speak. When I was there, it was what they called what I thought of as a truck. Yeah, a truck is a cab that pulls a trailer with hydraulics. A ute is an everyday road, road Aussie road car. Ute stands for, well, ute is short for utility vehicle. Um, it's a vehicle, but it has specific utility. Uh, people here went. Excuse me, I just the or something. Uh, um, TMA truck, yeah. Yeah. TMA truck. Big trucky truck. 
I never got to see it. Um, I, I saw all the plans and all that kind of stuff, but it was uh, not anywhere close to completed when I left, when I finished up my time there. But yeah, TMA trucks. Also say semis. Yeah, um, because uh, it's a semi-trailer. They're referring to the, the, tra the semi-trailer part of it, right? Is that... Which pickup truck does not make them a truck. Yeah. But pickup truck is still a hell of a lot more syllables than... Ute. <laughs> fries. They're only the thin ones, though. <laughs> you got chips and you got fries, and they're different. What are you, oh, oh my god, all my flailing around of my, my arm has triggered the 7,000 steps. Good. Um, oh, patat in Dutch. Is that like... I mean, but that sounds like potato, but I'm assuming it's kind of a semi-related word, maybe? Head hot chips. He's not yum. And so it's a shoes <laughs> Yep. Chip is a chip. And a potato chips is a chip from potato. Both chips is one type of chip chip. Bucky. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Thank you so much for letting me know, Sink. I appreciate it. In EU, say some, in EU, some say haulers. Okay, so because like, you're like hauling cargo across... Well, lorry. I've heard lorry, but I thought the lorry was a truck. But I mean, I guess a hauler would be a truck. Oh, God. <laughs> Language is hard. <laughs> uh, chip, chips, fries, and wedges. Um, not baked potatoes. Can I point out respectfully what time it is? No, I know. I know what time it is. I know. I'm, that's why I'm not doing another battle. I'm, uh... <laughs> but we just, I got so passionate about the conversation. <laughs> it keeps happening. Um, <laughs> let us leave. You say that like I'm keeping you here against your will. Okay. Uh, Michael McIntyre, something English Americans so funny. Explain some of their terms. Chucky, <laughs> chocolate, chalky, biscuit, bicky, chocolate biscuit, chalky bicky. <laughs> love that video, my lord. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's the same one, but I love that video. Oh, uh, anyway. Pies, proper pies, meat in it. Yes, yes. I mean, I do love a good blueberry pie or something like that. But I mean, yeah, strudel is tastier. Uh, wood chips? Are they wood fries? Possibly wood wedges? Crinkle cut? Oh no! Something that a Dutch word for truck. That's okay, jazz. Wood chips? Is wood gems with the pellets? So you finally realized mute happened. Oh no! Oh no! All right. End of chat reached. Stop talking. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's fine. To bed. No worries, Thurls. We are also off to bed. Uh, we're wrapping it up here. We're supposed to wrap it off a little while ago, but I got talky talky. Um, so, oh my god, Wednesday's Mage Tower. Crap. Oh no. Okay, Wednesday's Mage Tower. That's gonna. <sighs> Please come to be moral support because I'm gonna suck. It's gonna be terrible. It's gonna be horrible. I'm gonna fail hardcore. You need to make clips. So, so please be here on Wednesday, at least for the moral support. I'm going to do terribly, but it's Mage Tower. I'm going to try to work my way towards that mount. Um, Friday is Legion Time Walking. Uh, you are all welcome to come along to that if you so desire. I'm basically going to try to work through, like, as many of my characters as possible, doing, like, one dungeon, one dungeon, one... Getting those 500 badges from the quest items that drop. Um, so that's what's going to happen there. Sunday, we are heading back to our um, ATT Transmog Farming combined with Ludapraiser challenges, uh, we're going to go and do um, Architraz, not Architraz, that was what we did last week. Orkanai. Orkanai Crypt. So we're doing the four dungeons in uh, Tel Teldrassil Forest? No. Um, Shattereth. I've totally mind blank on what that place is called. Um, oh my god. I brain splat. Terracar. Thank you, game. Terracar. We're going to do the four from Terracar and the two in Caverns of Time. Uh, it'll be hilarious and great. And I hope you'll join us for that. Uh, and then back to Mount Farm Monday, next Monday. Uh, I will point out the 27th of April, the first Shah Farm stream that you can see on this beautiful calendar that I made all by myself, um, is... Uh, the 27th, it doesn't say it on the calendar, but it is going to be a charity stream. We're going to be raising some funds for Pank One, which is a pancreatic cancer foundation. They are trying to... So, um, pancreatic cancer is one of the most deadly cancers in the world. The five-year survival rate. So, if you are diagnosed today, the chance that you will make it 
five years from today is 8%. That's fucked. There is no other word to describe it. It is, that is fucked. It is ridiculous. It is silly. It should not be so. It shouldn't be so. The, the amount of medical progress and stuff that we have made, that, sh that, that is not right. So uh, we're going to be raising some funds to contribute towards research into and around pancreatic cancer. Um, they're calling it Storytelling Day, and the idea that they are they're promoting is that it's a day for everyone to come together and, and tell stories about um, people in their life or themselves, if, if people feel comfortable, uh, how they've overcome cancer or how they've defeated it and all that kind of stuff. It's to, you know, talk about inspirational stories of people rallying to, to get stuff done and how different treatments have worked well for them and all this kind of stuff um but of course you're not obligated to partake in that side of things at all whatsoever that's like the theme that they're going for this year but it's it's fundraising where we're raising money for charity uh there's going to be some disgusting taste in jelly beans um that i will eat to to do things uh, to try to encourage donations and if you have any ideas of things that you think might be fun uh as like donation goal kind of fulfillment type dealies uh you can drop them into the feedback channel in discord if you'd like discord.gg forward slash fiama or that i think there's a link if you type exclamation discord um but it's also just dot gg forward slash fiama as well um i haven't updated it yet because i'm a numpty uh, see i told you uh but yeah that's um why is this ad still playing i'm so confused uh but yeah that's what we're that's what we're doing I may should be fine. No. Good night, shapeless. Mince pie. Mi yeah, look. Yeah, minced fruit pie. Christmas mince pies are delicious. I love them, but that's probably because they're full of cinnamon. Um, I still can't do it. Oh, I won't be able to do it either. That's what's going to make it so funny. Uh, so, can we show us? So do I. I've not tried it. Like, not once. Back in Legion, I did just the fire mage challenge. That was it. Um, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. I got it done, but it was bad. Yay, fantastic. Shami's nearly 50. Awesome. Yes, Terika, thank you, Nick. Thank you. Channel goal. Yes, channel goal for next month. Indeed. Yes, smash channel goal. Yes. Brilliant. Uh, we've got 10 seconds left on that ad, so I'm going to grab this. Close. Brilliant. So let me drop this in. Grab your copy paste if you don't. If you don't have the uh, Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, either of which are totally okay, you can still copy and paste the entire message. Replace Fiamma Hype with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and drop it into Keggy's channel chat when we get there. Um, just to, to ref uh, Wednesday, Mage Tower, Friday, Legion Time Walking, Sunday, ATT slash Lax, uh, Lax, yep. Mount Farm Monday, 27th of April, Pancreatic Cancer Fundraising Charity Day. I Let will see you on Wednesday. Take care of yourselves. No. Be nice to each other. Don't you tell me no, Kaga. And I will see you on Wednesday. All love. Mwah. Bye, guys.